go in the book of Genesis. We're gonna, what we're gonna try to do, see if the spirit is with us. If not, the spirit will lead us up somewhere else. And what I want to do is go into Genesis 1, Genesis 2, and Genesis 3. So let's see how far we're gonna go with that. The uh, book of Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, the powers created the heaven and the earth. So we gotta break that down. So now the churches, you go to any church, and you go, that's how you stop these churches, man. The first thing you do is, you, you, you show them this, read, read it verbatim. Uh, Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Right, so ask them, who is God? Now you know what they're gonna say. They're gonna say the most high, God, the Father. No, nope, it has nothing to do with God the Father. All right? As a matter of fact, God is not one person. You know, there's more than one God. If you go into the Hebrew, um, the word God there in the Hebrew is Allah. The word Allah means power or angelic force. And the yum makes it plural. So the word would the word there would be and and the gods. Let's read it, read it that way. Uh, Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, the gods created the heaven and the earth. The gods created the heaven and the earth. So who are these gods? Who are these gods that created the heaven and the earth? Give me uh, John 1 and 1. Book of John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the gods, and the Word was a God. No, read it, read it the way it's written. Okay. Uh, John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So now let's read the right way. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. To God. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. And the Word was with the gods. Go ahead. And the Word was a God. Right, and the Word was a God. Now even the Jehovah Witnesses know, know that's the way you're supposed to read it. Read again, please. John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the gods, and the Word was a God. So now who's the Word? The Word is Yahweh. You know what I want? Give me a, a St. John 1. Go right to the point. Also give me uh, Psalms uh, 40 verse 7. And it, you can back it up with Hebrews if you want. But Paul reiterates what the Psalm says. Yeah. Uh, you want 1 and 14? John 1 yeah. and 14? Yeah. John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Right. Which goes, which goes, uh, well, we in the first chapter anyway, but when you go back to it, the answer to in the beginning was the word, and the word was with the, was with the gods, and the, and, and the word was a God. It was an angelic force, right? So read 14 again. John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Uh, yeah, Ch uh, Psalm chapter 40, verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. So that's how he's the word. So he's the manifestation of the absolute word. So now let's go to Hebrews uh, 1 and 1. You got something? Yeah, well, I'll get you. I got some real quick. Bro, you got the revelations? No. You got it. This is uh, Colossians 1 and 15. Shalom. Who is the image of the invisible power? Who is the Im image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created. Will you read from? Uh, Colossians 1 and 15. Who is the image? I forgot about that one, but that one, that goes into the list. It says, Who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. The image of the invisible power. Right there, that lets you know that Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh himself, looks like a so called Negro, looks like a so called black man. Because what does his son look like? And that's why I told Philip, which was one of the disciples, he said, Philip, you've seen me, 
you've seen the fog, that's confirmation of it. So that's heavy right there. For those people, oh well, no one knows what God looks like. No one knows what the Son of God looks like. The Bible tells you what the Heavenly Father and the Son look like. Yeah, because John actually saw the Son. He saw Yahweh Shah. He saw him. Yeah. And he saw, he saw, he brought it down and just the sure black man, did. man. Sure enough did. So you, hey, you church is finished. It's it. You're done. Yeah, you know what the Bible says, if you come preaching another Jesus, so if you come to us preaching about this so-called white man Jesus crap, you know, we ain't trying to hear that nonsense, man. The Bible tells you what the Heavenly Father looked like and what his son, his son looked like. A visible and in... See, this is very basic to us, but, yes. you, but you get into it. Oh, yeah, it's you get basic, into it. but yeah. you get into it, man. You get into it. Huh. Oh, yeah. the, what the scriptures say, it says, um, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. So again, if you're teaching that Jesus Christ is a so-called white man, God is a so-called white man, God and Jesus look like so-called white people, you're, you're not teaching according to the word. Because the word tells you what the Heavenly Father looks like and what his son looks like. You notice these crackers ain't putting up no Jesus movies no more. That's it. Greatest story ever. They don't put that shit up no more. Sure I'm waiting. I dare you. I double dare you to put up a, a movie about Jesus and have a cracker. I have a cracker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> play Jesus, right? Man, well, that's 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 uh, shit is played. It's played. That's that's uh, what it's is like, it? Father? What is that called? Cannon Father for yeah, us, man. Yeah. Man, you know how many videos we be making on that, man? Hey, so you done, man? You you oh, reveals um uh um, Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians two. Uh, second two, two and three. Con. Oh yeah. This is the time, man. Yeah, yeah. This is the time. Hey, that, that is the white man Jesus. That shit is played. It's like bell bottoms. It's played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah like them yeah. big long, yeah, the big long butterfly colors. Yeah. Our uh, Second Thessalonians two and three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except <laughs> they come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. Who's the man of sin? Esau. Esau. So called white. Hey, I, was, I did a video. I didn't even get a chance to watch it. I put it up. Based upon uh, the brother, the elder from uh, uh, Mar uh, uh, Baltimore, okay. you know, he did a thing on IUIC about somebody asked him about the chip again, and this oh, yeah. dude that was answering, he sounded stupid as hell. So, you know, we saw oh, I didn't even see the video, yeah, but I'm like, wait a minute, he said that the, the, the mark, the mark is set. I said, yeah. wait a minute. So the Apostle Paul had the, the mark of the beast, huh? You see how stupid that shit sounds? If you stop and think, see, this is the thing about you guys that are following the ISCPK and that are following the IUIC. You just sit down and you you just, whatever they, whatever stupid shit that they tell you, right. you know? Whatever comes out their pie hole. That, that's it. Let the scriptures say, prudent man, look at well to his goings. Part of being in this knowledge and this truth, you're supposed to be prudent. Even the disciples question how we shine. You know, they ask him, uh, uh, what was that? They ask him, uh, why do the scribes say that uh, uh, Elias was first come? And then he broke it down to them. He explained to them. That's, that's what yeah, it says, uh, the son of perdition, who opposed it and exalted himself. Yeah, uh, like Apostle Elder Tal said last week, the son of perdition is, is two means two things. Number one, he's the son of destruction. Whatever he, whatever he uh, uh, puts his hand on, he destroys. He brings it to the point of destruction. Then he's the son of perdition because he's going into slavery. He's going into destruction. So he brings destruction and he's going into destruction. Check that out. God, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, all that is worship, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Now, all you got to do is ask yourself, who does that fit? That don't fit the so-called Chinese. They don't do that. The, the so-called Chinese didn't put himself up as God or the Son of God. They don't fit the Japanese. They don't fit the, the so-called Arabs. Who does it fit? It fits the so-called white man. He's the one that goes around the earth saying that he's God. That he's the son of God, that he that he's the angels, and it goes all the way back to um, uh, what do you call it, the Renaissance period. Which, if you know the meaning of your words, Renaissance means rebirth. A 
All right, a rebirth of what? Of what? Of the so-called white man coming into power. And there's a reason. There's a reason why they uh, they use that term reaper yeah. because they were taken down. They were taken down, and the Most High had to build them back up. Right. Rebirth. Because what you're going to find out, what you people are going to find out, when you go back to the Dark Ages, it, it was just that dark people were ruling. When you read about uh, uh, Charlemagne and you read about the, the kings of England during that period, they were so-called dark-skinned men. They were so-called black men. Okay. See, once again, the so-called white man has lied to you. Oh, we got to go to uh, 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 Revelation 20. Get, right. You gotta read that. You gotta to. Too. And that's why it's being exposed. That's why Apostle Elitar is reading that, uh, Second Thessalonians. That man of sin be revealed, meaning being exposed, man. All his lies are being exposed. His society. You got it. Revelation 20 and 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. In yeah, that bottomless pit, that's talking about the Europe. The reason why it's called the bottomless pit is because it's an area of land not uh, it's not populated with uh, resources resources that's why uh, you had ships. well that's why that's yeah. why columbus had to come into the world i was just going to say that sure. just gonna because say they it. were getting spices with india man exactly you know so that's why it's called the bottomless pit because it's an area of land where you didn't really have a lot of resources resources that in people really need, you know? Like so, yeah, right, I'm Esau sorry. used to call uh, Brazil the area of Brazil. They used to call that place Brazil. They called it Brazil. Right. I did a video on that a while back. It was taken down by the devil. But um, they call it Brazil, and they knew that the word Brazil was the Hebrew word Barazal, which means, what is that, iron? It means yeah. iron. So there was a lot of iron, oil, and other resources down here, man. So they said we're going to call this place Barazal. Barazal, yeah. You know, to add to a pastor, you got a place called Argentina. Now, when you go into Latin, uh, yeah, that's where you get the word silver from. In the, the Italian is Argento. Argento, Argentina. Argento means silver. <clears throat> so that area of land is known for what? Silver. And you back up what all the pastor said about Brazil, known for iron. Iron and silver are two minerals that you need. If you can, I believe it's in Chronicles, even the first the second Chronicles about Solomon's navy going back and forth. Oh, yeah. You know? So, see, what we're explaining to you. And then you can even get on that, uh, uh, the Apocrypha, as Mo would say, the Apocrypha. Yep. What we're explaining to you is why the place was called the bottomless pit. You got to know why you read the bottom. Why is it called the bottomless pit? What does that mean? Like recently, man. I, yeah, because every time you dig down to find something, you gotta keep yeah, digging. Yeah. You gotta keep. I'll get in my Ariash, but you gotta, you gotta keep digging. You ain't gonna find <laughs> gotta keep that. Digging. You know? Hey, because recently I, I, I told Apostle Ronald about this. I cut myself, man, because I did a video and I mentioned about how Yahweh was crucified on uh, at uh, Golgotha. Then in, in 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 my mind, not looking up the word. I said, oh yeah, that was a place because it's known as the place of the skulls. So yeah, Yahweh was crucified. This is what I said, right? Yahweh was crucified and there was a multiple skulls. And then I went back and I listened to it. I said, nah, 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 that don't make sense. Yahweh being crucified in a mountain of skulls. So I looked up the word, just by looking up the word Golgotha, the place where Yahweh according to the, what I read, the place where Yahweh was crucified it was a brow of a hill that looked like a skull. All right. See, that's what happens when you study. Yeah. And I was cut. I was like, and you know, I took down, I took the video. Well, I didn't even upload it. I just deleted the video. Now the whole video was good, but just that one piece of information would have thrown brothers off if they if they would have listened to it. So I went back and I looked up the word. Now I know what the word means. Go off. Hey, that's why we're the go-to people because, yeah. hey, most of the time we do videos, you know what you do? You get a lot of questions. Yeah. What does this mean, brother? What does that scripture mean? You know? Yeah. And you know what I do? I do a little 10-minute video on it, man. Yeah. You know? So, so that's what it means. Golgotha, it means the place of the skull, the place where Yahweh was crucified, the brow of the hill, it looks like a skull, or it looked like a skull. 
so it was called Golgotha, the place of the skulls. Now the mountain of skulls right next to you, like I was thinking. That's well, not we what all thought that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you all didn't know your mind. Oh, yeah? I, I didn't know. You know, you know, you got to picture it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All over. Hey, you go, bone... see that? You're going to join this skull over here. Yeah. Yeah. It was also called Calvary. Now, Apostle Randolph, you kind of going into it because the, the word for the Spanish, Spanish word for, for skull is calavera. Calavera. So you have See, I didn't know that. Calvary, yeah. calavera. That's how I know how to distinguish between Calvary and cavalry. And cavalry. Right. Two different. Yeah. Calavera, cal, cal, calvary. Uh, ca, uh, cavalry, caballo. Horse. Yeah. Horse. Yeah. Horse. Yeah. Horse. So it's like, it, it, yeah, it, it, it sounds, sounds similar. similar. Yeah. It sounds similar. Yeah. So see, so what we're showing you, brothers, is you got to look up your words. You got to be spot on with the information. Yeah, most of the time you guys ask us questions where if you did a little research, and we don't mind you asking. You know, one brother said, I want to ask you a question. I don't want to go off topic, and I don't want to bother. You ain't bothering me, man. When I do the video, I want you I want you to ask questions and, and, and add to the flavor of the other video, man. Yeah, yeah, good. Get that soup going. Get that soup going, yeah. Um, I got Kings, Go ahead. Uh, 1 Kings 9 and 26, and King Solomon made a navy of ships in Ezion Geber, which is beside, beside Eloth on the shore of the Red Sea in the land of Edom. And Hiram sent Hold on, why was he in the land of Edom? Because they took Edom over. Yeah. Because Edom was slaves under them. They said, look, okay, now we're going to step in the land. Just like Darius did, the Mede, uh, uh, when he, when he, when he uh, had a... Uh, um, uh, Bell Bell Cesar Cesar put to death. Yep. Yep. He just went over there, okay, this is our land now. We don't got to build that, we just got to change the name, you know? That's it. See, y'all don't know, man. <laughs> it says, And Hiram sent in the navy his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the sea, with the servants of Solomon. Now, who were the servants that had the, the knowledge of the sea? The Canaanites. Yep. Which are what? Hamites. Yep. It says, and they came to Ophir and fetched from thence gold 420 talents and brought it to now, King Ophir Solomon. Is where? Uh, Ophir is another name for America. Yep. It's like uh, Brazil uh, was the Hebrew word uh, iron, by the south, the word Brazil. And that shows you that with the tribes over here, man. Right. Yeah, that's right. All proof. I got another one. Hey, see, it's good to go. Hey, you know what? I was thinking about doing Genesis 1 and going back to the basics, and I'm like, nah, because ain't nobody, you know? Yeah. But, but, but it gets get you, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. <laughs> good juice you got to get into those uh, breakdowns. Con. Yeah. Well, the well, pastor always says that, because that's how uh, high priest Ariel taught. taught going back to, uh, you know, the, the chapters, Con. breaking down the chapters. Yeah, if you, if you was around when Ariel was teaching, he would go through the same thing over and over again. He'd go to Daniel, the second, Daniel, second chapter, Revelation this, Revelation that. He'd go in the math. He'd go into the Josephus. He'd go into the Hebrew. He'd go into the High Holy Day. That's how it was done back then. He didn't really go into that brotherly love, brother, no. you know, trespassing. He don't go all the time. He goes into them breakdowns, man. Breakdown, yeah. Over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, we do, we do, you know, in Spirit Jumps on us, we do those character building videos because mainly we're doing it because we've been in this thing so long that the benefit of our experience can be passed to you brothers, man. You know, because after a while of being in this thing, in this ministry, you do, you do develop a certain kind of character, you know, in, this, in the ministry, you know. So we pass that benefit unto you, new brothers. And we're, and we're honest with you too. We tell you you're going to catch hell. You know, all these other Israelite groups, they, they don't even mention that. You know, and so somebody comes into it not knowing really what to expect. But with Great Millstone, we tell you, man, according to the scriptures, that you're going to catch hell, you're going to suffer, your parents. Your We're here to warn you, man. Yeah, yeah. Like Apostle Paul said. Yeah, your family's going to come against you. You know, we told you all that stuff according to the scriptures. And now you brothers are seeing it. Yep. Go ahead, bro. Your, your woman's going to leave you. Oh, yeah. Other groups don't tell you that, man. Well, now in the things where you know, a woman that left you is trying to get back with you. Now yep. she's trying to get back with you. That is so true. <laughs> yes, sir. Because yep. they see it now. That's right. Uh, this is um, 1 Kings 10 and 22. 1 Kings 10 22. For the king had at sea a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Hiram once in three. Hiram, by the way, he built 
he built the uh, temple of the Most High, and he also built the house of Solomon. Now wait a minute, a heathen, a heathen built the temple. That Harold, he was the greatest builder back then. That's what the whole Masonic thing is all about. The, the, the widow's son, Harold, Harold of Biff. But they got him as a white man. He wasn't a white man. He was a Canaanite. <clears throat> Dig it. For the king had at sea a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tarshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. Okay, why did it say once in three years? Huh? Because it took a year and a half to get to the place and a year and a half to come back. And they wouldn't go, they wasn't living over there, they were going over there to collect the, the, the resources of that great land, which is America. Yep. All right? All right. All right. That's why the so-called white man came to America. He came for the resources. Oh yeah. Yeah, well he came to fulfill prophecy, but he, he came to fulfill not fulfill realizing prophecy. that he was he came for the resources, not realizing that fulfill he was prophecy. fulfilling prophecy. That's you know? it. That's it. Esau didn't realize that when they were building up America they went and started the thirteen original colonies in the East. Then it then it went, there was a thing, go west young men, old men, young men, and they went to the West. And why did why why did that take place? Under the Monroe Doctrine and the uh, uh, the, uh, the Monroe Doctrine and the uh, Manifest Destiny. Now, somebody please look up the Monroe Doctrine, and that really goes back to right. That really goes back to uh, uh, the, pa the Papal Bull. It started with the Papal Bull. Okay. Rodrigo Borgia. Yep. 1490. You are that great dragon. You want just the definition? Yeah, yeah. Just give me the. Uh, Okay. Uh, this is from uh, Google, uh, Monroe Doctrine, a principle of U.S. policy originated by President James Monroe, if I may say something on the word policy. Now, we used to have this book, Pascal knows about it, uh, Pascal Rana. the book was called uh, uh, Vultures and Eagles Clothing. Oh, yeah. Now, that book was bad, man. that book was deadly. Uh, I think Lynn Meredith published the book. Anyway, within the book, uh, they brought out the same, uh, that word policy. It's spelled P-O-L-I-C-Y. They brought out that L-I-C is Latin for trap, to entrap. So that's license. What they, huh? license. License. That's what they, that's what it does. It entraps you to the state. You're, 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 you become a servant to the state by these licenses. Different license. Adhesion contracts. Adhesion contracts, right. So it says Monroe Doctrine, the principle of U.S. policy, U.S. policy in trap, uh, originated by President James Monroe in 1823, that any time intervention by external powers in the politics of the Americas is potentially, potentially hostile act against the U.S. Read that again, please. Monroe Doctrine, a principle of U.S. policy originated by President James Monroe in 1823 that any intervention by external powers in the politics of the, of the Americas is a potentially hostile act against the U.S. So what did that mean? That means when they went into the, when they, when they started taking over this country, when Gad defended the country, they would kill Gad. That's what that made. That, and it, and it, you know, Round about way of saying it, um, that's, that's, if anybody, we're, we're taking this place, if anybody interfered to take it back, we're we going we gonna to look, look at them as enemies, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? You got and, some and, damn nerves. And, and you know what? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, was with you to do that. If, if we get a scripture on that, uh, what's that? Uh, Jeremiah? How does it go? What does it say? Um, uh, thou thoughtest that I was all together. One is, as I saw, Psalms 50. Yeah, I'm sorry. Is that Psalms, Psalms 50. Psalms 50, yeah. Psalms 50. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, con. Yeah, yeah. Basic, simple. All right. It's a basic, hey, 30,000 is a big one. And that thing is getting ready to crash. She's what? Man, she better get her money and fucking run, man. <laughs>
Yeah, the point is really in the 18th verse, but there's another one I was thinking about while I was thinking about this scripture. Uh, Psalm 50, 16 to 18. It says, But unto the wicked, the most I saith, what is thou to do to declare my statutes? Now, who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. What have you to do to declare my statutes? 21, verse 21. Or that thou of the same chapter? Yep. Start at 16. Okay. Start at 16. You know, all the meat, all the meat of them. Right there at 16. Psalm 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, I'm just reading it verbatim. But unto the wicked, God saith, and we know his name is Yahweh. God saith, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction. What is, this, what is the Lord's covenant? This knowledge, this truth. When the so-called white man started calling himself a Christian, he, he was taking, he claimed he was taking the Heavenly Father covenant into his mouth. That's what that means. But unto the wicked, God saith, what is thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee. And there's plenty of examples that show you that. When thou sawest a feet, then thou consentest with him, and has been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thine own mother's son. Yeah, your, mother's, your mother's son is, is Jacob, and you're this. These things hast thou done. Now, what's one of those things? The 18th verse, it says, when you saw a thief, you consent us with him. Now, how did he get to America? How did you get this land? You stole it. Okay? So, when you go down to the 21st verse, it says, these things hast thou done, and I kept silence. That's the Heavenly Father keeping silence, right? Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Say who in order? Us. Israelites. Us Israelites. The Lord. Yeah. I will reprove thee and set them in order. And set them in order. And what? I, uh, 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 Psalm 50 and 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as such and one as thyself. But I will reprove thee and set them in order. Set them in order, the Israelite prophets in order, which we're in order right now. Go ahead. Yeah. Before thine eyes. Before thine eyes. You watch YouTube, you gotta watch us, man. When you walk down the street to go to the store, to the market, to buy some uh, bread, you gotta see, you can see us. You know? Yeah, then, then the verse says, the Lord said he's going to reprove you. Who's he using to reprove you, Esau? He's using us. Because we're, we're telling you all the wickedness you've done according to the scriptures. The fact that you're not following, it says you, you do not follow instruction. Uh, 17 verse, seeing thou hatest instruction. Now, what's an example of that? Let's look at homosexuality. Now, according to the Bible, a homosexual is supposed to be put to death. That's the judgment for a homosexual. What do you do for to homosexuals. Make laws to protect them. Make laws to protect them. You give them rights. You, you give them movie roles. You, you, you make them celebrities. You, uh, make laws protecting them. You make laws protecting them. Yeah. So that's an example of you hating instruction. The instruction says to put a homosexual to death. What do you do? You don't do that. The total opposite. You do the total opposite. So and that's happening in Israel to get parades. Yeah. You're supposed to get, get, grab all them, rolls up. That's it. And, 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 and burn them. Off. That's it. You know? That's it. So you hate instruction. Whack them. Yeah, you hate instruction. So also that shows that you're a hypocrite, Esau. It also shows you're a hypocrite. So that's pretty much it. That's it. Uh, Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. Like you go back to Cain, right? Now, you go back to the law of sacrifice. Cain was supposed to offer what? According to the law. The first limbs of his flock. What does Cain offer? Fruit and, and nuts and all that. Yeah, yeah, fruit and nuts. <laughs> and where's that scripture? In uh, Solomon, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. the garden of nuts. So, so that was in, in harmony with the law. That's why the Bible also calls the wicked one uh, as Cain, which the word Cain means weapon. And that's the so called white man's blessing, is the weapon. The weapons, that's his blessing. So he is uh, Cain. 
He's Cain, man. Cain is his forefather. You see how it's coming together? You see how that, 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 that I'm making that soup. I'm making that biblical soup for you, man. Put some more ingredients up in that bad boy. Hey, uh, Put the right seasoning on right. it, man. Well, we're in the time of you so-called white people being exposed. Let's start with the fact that you're not white. You know, you're different shades of red. And the word crime goes back to crimson. What color is crimson? Red! Red! So who's the real crime? Who's the real criminals? That's right, you so-called white you people, man. You devils. Bunch of criminals. Again, how'd you get America? What, do you vote for it? You burn candles for it? No, you stole it. So the Bible is cursing you out, man. Well, since you made that statement, yeah. give me a Ecclesiastes reimbursement. I, I, I got this. Songs of Solomon 611. Hey, like Paul Moody said, where you want me to start? Cut. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> Songs hey. of Solomon 611. I went down into the garden of nuts to. <laughs> I went, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I went down into the garden of nuts to see the fruits of the valley. <laughs> the fruits of the valley. went down in the garden of nuts to see the fruits of the valley. Now we know what that's talking about, but you know. Yeah, good. Oh, then Cain, you, he killed his brother Abel. Why? Because Abel's sacrifice was accepted, but Cain, Cain's was not. So Cain got jealous and killed his brother. That's what the so-called yeah, that's what the so-called white man's doing now. He's jealous of us. That's why you want to kill us. That's why you want us to take your vaccine. So you, now, it clearly in Psalms, the 83rd chapter, it breaks it down, man. The, the nation of uh, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, they want to destroy the nation of Israel. It's right there in Psalms, the 83rd chapter. But all of a sudden, they love you. Yeah. They're, so con they're so concerned about you. Let's go back to Cain and Abel. Cain killed Abel, why? Because of jealousy, and hatred. And he's going to kill you trying to kill Abel again. Once again. With the vaccine. Yeah. Yep. He's doing a little slipper. You know? Did you want Ecclesiastes 315, Apostle? Yeah. Ecclesiastes 315. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And the most I require is that which is past. Now they got to pay for the past. Because yeah. you usually say, well, that was just the past. Yeah. Was, those are my four parents. I didn't do it. Okay, yeah, but if you was back there, you would have did it. As a matter of fact, you did do it because you are your fathers in the reincarnation. Yeah, that's good. Right. Uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 14, 21. 21 come. I, I just remembered the scripture that now Apostle brought out the term Monroe Doctrine, right? We read it. Basically, this so-called white man saying, look, as we're stealing all these lands and taking their resources, nobody better hinder us. Basically, that's the Monroe Doctrine, right? Now, this is the book of Micah 2, 1 and 2. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Now, the Monroe Doctrine, that was an evil doctrine. There's nothing righteous about that. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covered fields Taken by violence. Like you coveted America, right? Which belonged to who? The so-called North American Indians, our brothers, the tribe of Gad. But you you coveted that field. Right. Just like it says here in Micah. And they covered fields. Who's that talking about? And they covered fields and take them by, by violence. violence and houses and take them away. Yeah, just like um, the scriptures say about Gad, a troop shall overcome him, yeah. but he shall overcome at the end. Yeah, it's by violence, you had the what? You had the blankets, smallpox small blankets. You had the gap. Well, now they kind of backtracking over. We, yeah. you know, we just did. We really didn't want. Motherfucker, you did it, man. Yeah. <clears throat> and you know where they got that smallpox from? The dead soldiers uh, of the, uh, the, the the British soldiers. You got it off oh, their yeah. dead bodies, man. And you put it in the uh, uh, the blankets, and you said, "Here, this is for you." And it's like the vaccine. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. We know yeah. it's getting cold, but yeah. we got blankets. We want to make a like peace treaty with you. Yeah. Here's a peace treaty, <laughs> Yohanna. Yeah. Yohanna was probably there, he's Uncle Tom sitting back, you know, with a, with a blue bugle and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you that <laughs> <like that, laughs> <man. laughs> Then you had your cat, cat by you, by you on the horse. And the other guy is his uh, his right hand man with the scotch. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that dude. 
kept falling off his horse. I got, I got some real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says uh, Psalms 37 and 12. Yep. The wicked plotteth against the just yep. and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Ooh, read that again. It says the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Psalms 37 and 12. Read that once again. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Matter of fact, I'll start at the first verse. Oh yeah, the Lord shall laugh at him for he seeth that his day is coming. I'll start at one. This is a good chapter. Yeah, because your day is coming. So we're in 2021. Just one more year closer to your day. And we hope it's this year. That's why Apostle Tom brought out the title, <coughs> the year of hastening, hastening the day. But it's, back, it's basically Second Peter, what, 3 and 13, basically. <laughs> hastening the day. You got it. Psalms 37 and 1, a Psalm of David. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against... That, that's for us, us that believe, believe in this truth. We're not to fret because of evildoers. These evil dudes are these top banking families, these, these Rothschilds, these Rockefellers, and all the different legislation they're passing, yep. all the different pandemics they're creating. We're not to fear them because really their, their power comes from, up from the most high on the left hand side. That's why Apostle Tower always says about this chip, that's really the most highest chip. Okay? That's really his chip. Esau has the chip because the Heavenly Father wants him to have the chip. And then in the book of Revelation, it tells you it's a trial. It's a test to see if, you know, well, we already know who's going to take it. The two-thirds, they're going to take it. But the elect of the Lord, they're not going to take it. They're going to pass the test. Why? Because they're part of the elect. Yeah, like these guys, IUIC somewhere, brother rolled up on them. That's about the mark of the beast being microchip. Now that brother that asked the question, obviously they want to keep watching us, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's it. That's a. You know what that is? That's a thorn in your side. Yep. To the IUIC and the ISUPK, man. We don't have to come up there. There's people. What about the mark? And you got to come up with that stupid yeah, statement, that tap dance routine that makes you, man. That curly show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, how the man? How, you know, the white man. You know, they ain't want to give you the chip. Cops can cut this bad you and give you the chip. And that's why I said, well, look, cops can grab you and stick a a dildo on you. To make you a damn faggot. You know what I'm saying? Don't make sense, man. Hey, man, if cops started doing that, it's on the news. You see cops grabbing Jake and take, pulling their pants down and popping them. Do you know Jake can go fuck wild on these fucking cops now? Hell yeah. So that's a stupid excuse. All right? And, and then you had to, uh, you know, you had to backtrack because you're saying, now you're saying you ain't, I ain't taking it. I ain't taking it. But you told that nurse to take it, man. Right. And she was stupid enough to listen to you, man. She probably took it too. She don't know what to do because she don't want to lose her job. Look, man, well, what about my job? Motherfucker, lose, lose your job, man. Yeah, There's I mean, ways that you can get paid. You don't got to get paid sure. that way. Sure. You know? With all these apps out there, hey, you going to worry about your job when I ain't you... talking about apps, brother. Oh. Talking about something else. You, you oh, know, okay. Oh. All these mics. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, y'all think that shit is backfiring on you. That's Maxine is backfiring on you. Sick. Hey, you people, are you worried about your job? You don't worry about your job the day the missiles are shot? You know, when they make that announcement, one of the brothers did a video, and, and the video is, is spooky as hell, because at the beginning, he played that announcement. Uh, this is not a test. It's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the shit sounds so real, man. Like they're about to say, look, Russia has launched uh, the ICBM missile. You have 30 minutes to get to your bomb shelter, or whatever they're going to say. But you're going to worry about your job then? You're going to be like, man, fuck that job. I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to live. Yeah. So that's a poor excuse. That job, that, that's tired. Some of you niggas might try to punch out when the missile's you know, you, you, you heard GMS, you shut the tongue, you see the tongue, well, what, punch out for they dock you, <laughs> bunch of dummies. Man, once those missiles are on their way. And you were scared of your bosses, man. Yeah. I was never afraid, right, brother? Yeah, yeah, we were never yeah. afraid of our bosses, man. They knew we were Israelites. Yeah. The bosses that we had, Paul yeah. and Dave, them, them motherfuckers are so-called Jews. Yeah. And we used to salute each other. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Oh, that's right. Hey, our road name was, my road name was Tahar, your road name was Tabar. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, we didn't give a shit. We used to call the white men that were trying to cause it. Cross. They loved us. Yeah. Why? Because when we had a run, we did it. We yeah. did it, man. That's it. Did the job. It says, Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass. Now, you know, that's Psalm 37, right? Okay. Now, you know, that scripture was read in the movie, you know, in the movie, The Clockwork Army. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. When he was locked up, oh, yeah. he read the scripture to the uh, Malcolm, whatever, Malcolm McDowell, whatever. Oh, yeah, that, it, was, yeah. it was a chapter, man. And I'm looking at this and saying, You the devil. Yes. Why are you going to be the devil? Read the scripture. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, love yeah, the devil, yeah. man. That's and the then, devil oh, and then that movie, that's a good movie. Yeah. You saw the movie? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, in the movie, he was reading the scriptures about Christ, you know, Jesus. And he said, the part that I like is when, when, when they were whipping Christ. And then he pictured himself, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I said, well, that's showing you that you're the damn devil. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malcolm McDowell. Malcolm McDowell, yep. Yeah. It says, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Yeah, we're in the time of them being cut down. You know that mirth, mirth, like the, uh, another sign of them being cut down is the mirth. The Bible says, or the prophecy says, the mirth of the land is gone. It's, it's Cease. Off. Look at the uh, Times Square. That, that thing looked like a, a... Yeah, I was watching that, man. That thing and meanwhile, in Wuhan, it was yeah, crowds, man. Yeah. They were dancing, they were partying, and they were dancing, and you said that about the downfall of America, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's another prophecy because it speaks about uh, the pride of uh, Asia, you know, and that's, there, there it is, that's uh, uh, China, Japan, especially China raising up in the ranks, thinking they're going to be the next uh, uh, well, that's, uh, Psalms two. Psalms, yep. two. Psalms 2. Psalms 2 yeah. and 2nd uh, uh, Ezra's, 2nd yep. Ezra's 15 and then going into 16. Yeah, it's all there, man. It's all there. Because they're saying that... that that the, them Asian countries are the image of America. They've took on that, right. that image. They took on that, and, and, and that's... No, they came yeah. great. What you gotta understand is, uh, uh, China became great, or certain parts of China became great, yep. is because the European and American companies took it over there and showed them how to do production. That's yep. all they did. Yeah. They took all the manufacturing and they brought it to China. Yep. Yep. That's why you had a thing called the Great Leap Forward. Because we had more bikes that was out there in the field. And when uh, Mao Zedong came on the scene, he said, no, y'all can't do that. Y'all got to work in the cities. And they didn't want it. Right, so right. what they do, I believe they killed like 70 million of them. That's called, look it up. See, I'm a well-read individual. <laughs> I read shit. I watch Jeopardy and shit and all that. So I, I learned, man. I find I that shit fascinating. Is, I find that shit fascinating. I got a precept for you, if I may. Go ahead and go, and go to the great leap forward. Okay, uh, uh, this is uh, Book of Obadiah 1 and 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that ate, eat thy bread, like we're that talking money, about. That you, money. you broke it down, how they yep, yep, yep. showed them how to. Yep. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. Woo! There is none understanding in him. There you go. The great leap forward. Great leap forward. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Uh, the great leap forward of the People's Republic of China was an economic and social campaign led by the Chinese Communist Party from 1958 to 1962. That's when they sold, they had the, the real opening to China was during the uh, Nixon administration when he had a meeting with the Chinese premier, and I believe it was 72. Yes, it was 72, it was 72. What happened in 70, what historical event happened in 71? Economically. The, the silver, um... They, he, he, he closed the, the gold and silver market. There was no, no, see, man, I'll be running <laughs> and the people, you know, Based most of Jake, and they all say the same thing, happy new year. You know what I said this year? It ain't gonna be so happy this year. Hmm. And they look at me like, well, we can hope. But y'all don't know, look, based upon the, uh, eco the economy of this country, this motherfucker's done, man. Right. This motherfucker's done. When, they, when you know that there's gonna be an earthquake or missiles coming, what do you do? You run. You don't stand around and say, well, I hope the missile don't hit me. And then the next day, one guy sent me that guy, he says, happy new year again. 
I said, this guy don't get it, man. This guy don't get it. But that, but that whole thing, the plan was to do what? To slowly, but it took a number of years to, 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 to move everything out of America, the manufacturing, yep. and bring it on to China. Why? Because of cheap labor. Yeah. Right. You know? Right. So, so now the they Chinese, make... so the Chinese, they figured it out and they became rich. Yep. So they, they have laid a wound under them. Yeah, because now they're making the stuff there cheaper, right. sending it here, selling it more expensive. As to before, it might have been made here or whatever, and then they would have to buy it from here. Yeah. So, so Esau's treachery backfired, basically backfired on himself. Yeah. And that's what Obadiah 1 and 7, uh, 1 and 7 says. I got a quick piece up. You got it. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her. The Babylon is talking about is America. God. America. Because the word Babylon means confusion. That's what America is. Nothing but confusion. Go ahead. That made all the earth drunken. Made all the earth drunken, meaning with a philosophy. Yep. Like Elder Pastor just gave an example how they threw that philosophy on the so called Chinese. Okay, concerning economics, and, and now the so called Chinese have taken it and they've thrown it back on Esau. Go ahead. The nations have drunken of her wine. The nations have drunken of her wine. Go ahead. Therefore, the nations are mad. Therefore, the, and, and, and that man is, or that anger is going to excel so much to the point of where they're going to shoot, if you want to get that, where they're going to shoot missiles upon America. It's going to be a symbol of the nation. In uh, Jeremiah, uh, I believe, 51. Okay. Yeah, so that anger that the nations have, they're going to, they're going to take, they're going to express it in World War III. They're going to shoot missiles on America. They're going to shoot missiles on Israel. Because really, if you look at it, America and Israel are the two most prominent uh, nations right now, if you can call them that, that is ruling the whole geopolitics scene. America and Israel. England, England. And England too. Yeah, England. But England's like a silent, they're the silent. England, right, exactly. They're yeah. silent power. The real power is coming out of London. Yeah. I'm saying England, London. London is that that, uh, city, city state. state. Yeah. And if you notice, America's always in the news, and Israel, that little tiny nation, right? The of them don't draw them out. If you can call it that, always in the news. They're always behind some frickets, so they're always behind some. Oh, the some, whole the whole world knew about Barack Obama. Right. That was a big thing. The whole world when Barack, when uh, Trump became president, that was a big thing, man. They ain't talking about the elections in other countries. You watch the Euro, I found that out when they started putting up the Euro, the Euro news, you know? When they put up the Euro news, they, every, every news piece was pretty much about America, you know? American Israel, American Israel. You got it. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. It says, um, one of those uh, countries is going to be Russia, from Russia with love, right? And uh, Iran, Iran's another country, one of those countries, Russia, Iran, Syria, uh, Libya. Go ahead. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of an assembly great nations. Of great nations. Well, can you say something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. If you will allow Oh, no, no. Sorry. Read that again, please. Come. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations. Now, I did a video recently, recently about that, and I went to, the, uh, to that particular name of scripture. Uh, Jeremiah 50, verse 9. Jeremiah 50, verse 9, and I put in commentary. Mm -hmm. Them people that do the commentaries, they ain't saying it's ancient Babylon. Mm -hmm. They used to say that, and some of them would say it, yeah? Like folk have them, they would say that that's talking about ancient Babylon. No, there was no assembly of nations. The nation that took down the king of Babylon was a, was a, was a, the king of the Medes. Right. All yep. right. That yep. was uh, Darius. That was one nation, man. Yeah, Darius. Right. That's right. Yeah. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great assembly nations. Assembly of nations mean what? More than one. More than two. A number of nations. Right. That's right. From the north country. Yeah, well, like I said, uh, Russia will be one of those countries, Russia. And yeah, well, you had those other, where well, you have the Iron Wall, 
and all of those uh, well, separate, separated, separate but, but they're coming, they're they're coming, coming back. back together. Yep. It says, assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. In array. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. Yeah, those no. are not talking about straight up arrows. Those are talking about nuclear missiles. Right. And arrows wasn't used against the Babylonians. There was no, no war. Right. Yeah. The king of Babylon and his noblemen, they were all drunk. They were all drunk and they were full with, with the king's uh, uh, delicacy, yep. man. Yep. Which means what? Fried food. Yep. That's right. what it means, man. The lip lipos. 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 From, uh, lipos. lipos. Yep. Revelation. That's where you get liposuction from. What are they doing? They're, they're pulling out the fat from you. What do you do when you want to make something taste good? You keep frying. It right. becomes a, a delicacy. Yep, yep. So like that's congeli. Fry it yeah. up. They, they love that yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, right. <laughs> they love fried food. Yeah, yeah, which eventually clogs your, clogs your arteries, <laughs> yep. clogs your heart. That's where you get all the diseases from. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. It says, their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. Yeah, because those arrows that he's talking about is the missiles. It ain't talking about the actual arrow. And going back to that fat, you know, when when you eat certain foods, when it breaks down in the system, it, it, it makes you sluggish because yeah. it, it, it uh, thickens your blood. You know, and that, that's why you have to go lay down, go to, go to sleep. You know, like soul food. And you get what you know? they call the itis. Yep. It says, and Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. It says, because you were glad, because you rejoiced, O ye destroyers of mine heritage, because you are grown fat. Hold up. The ba ancient Babylonians didn't destroy the heritage of the Most High. Because we knew that were, we were Israelites. Right. We were able to speak Hebrew. Yep. Even though we got certain names that were uh, Babylonian names. Right. But this is the only country right here in America where they say you, you're not Israelites. They took that whole thing away. Yep. So you got a lot to pay for, you devils. Yeah, there's even a scripture where uh, one of the, I think it was Nebuchadnezzar, where he proclaimed Daniel's God to be the God. Mm -hmm. After, I forgot what event it was. And I think it was after he, um, I'm not sure if that was when. The lion's the, Den was it? Uh, could have been that. Or was it the statue? Yeah, um, one, it was an event <coughs> in the scriptures that happened that. Um, the Lord showed he was with Israel rather than the Babylonians and even the king of Babylon which I believe at that time was Nebuchadnezzar he said your God is God basically that's what he said so Esau will never, Esau will never say that Esau will never say that our God which is Yahweh Shem Yahshai is God Esau ain't gonna say that because that you know he's the wicked you got it. it says because you are grown fat as the heifer at grass and bellow as bulls. <clears throat> Your mother shall be sore confounded. Yeah, we always break that down. Let's talk about uh, England. England. England is the, is the mother of the so-called country. And England, not only that, I think it says your mother will be ashamed of you. Yep. Yeah. It, it says your mother sh uh, shall be sore confounded. Yep. She that bear you shall be ashamed. It is England. Mm -hmm. It says, behold, the hindermost. That's why England is going to. Uh, England is going to miss the uh, Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. That's a miracle. The missiles are going to tear this place up. It says, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Yes, that's a miracle. Wholly desolate. Wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at her plagues. That's Revelation 18, yep. Isaiah 34. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> this so-called great land, man, is going to be reduced to what? A desert. A desert. Think about that. America is, what, 5,000 square miles of desert. And, and the Heavenly Father is going to leave it that way as a memorial. You know? There's a scripture in the book of Job where it says, this is the portion of a wicked man from the heavenly father. No? Go ahead. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about, all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her, spare no arrows. That's all those missiles being shot on this place. 
You're going to have Russia shooting missiles. You're going to have Libya. You're going to have um, um, Russia, Libya. You're going to have uh, uh, what is it? Ethiopia, the European Union. European Union. 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 They're going to all turn. They're going to all turn against America. Pakistan. You're going to have Pakistan shooting their missiles. Yep. And then at the same time, you're going to have your Howard Shai coming with the angels, Michael the Archangel, bringing his own brand of warfare. And it's going to happen during the midst of Jacob Trouble, Nate. Nate. So, so this place is done. This place doesn't doesn't stand a chance. And all the prophets saw it. All the prophets. Hey, the prophet Isaiah saw America. Isaiah 34. He described this place as what a desert. Man. Yep. Wild creatures are go is going to be here. Wild birds. <laughs> this is heavy. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows. Spare no arrows. For she have sinned against the Lord. She took the mark of the beast. <laughs> yes. Shout, shout. Shoot at her. Spare no arrows. You go to the prophet Joel. Joel saw the arrows. Yep. Which are really the missiles. And, and he said, none shall break their ranks. He compared them as men marching into war, heavens. into battle. Yeah. Huh? That's the weapons of, of weapons of the Lord's indignation. Because those missiles, they have what you call they have what you call guided technology, missile guided technology. Yeah. So once Russia or whatever country uh, shoots those missiles, the missile is going to hit its target. All right, it's going to it's going to hit its target and, and destroy it. Okay, so that's what it means. The prophet Joel, the second chapter, uh, uh, you know, when it goes into the missiles, none shall break their ranks. You know. Go ahead, bro. It says, shout against her round about. She hath given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she hath done do unto her. Cut off the sower from Babylon and him that handed up the sickle in the time of harvest. And, you know, you have the, the food supplies falling apart. You know, you have the, the, uh, the su supply chain, the uh, farmers, you know, like the scriptures speak about in the, uh, the Apocrypha, about the fearful constellation, you know? And the, ma the mass of the people don't know what's going on. And I can't believe that you don't know that the government's behind this whole shit, you know? That's why it says in James 5, they're going to find out about the force. It's just nothing but a force. This whole thing is a force, man. There was somebody that wrote something in one of those... I don't know if it was Twitter account or whatever, and they said, you know, here it is, you know, like it's something along the lines that this thing started in Wuhan, and then they got the whole world locked down. Now over there in China, they they're walking around. They haven't been inoculated, you know. They 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 they're just walking around and nothing's happening. He said, you got to come to the realization that you've been played, you know. Well, people, the American people are for the most part a bunch of stupid heads. Come. And you can thank your government schools for stupefying you, yep. for dumbing you down. Pretty much played Look you, Look at that word, dumb, dumb, dumb down. Dumb down. down. It says, uh, for fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people, and they shall flee everyone to well, his own land. Now. Everybody's leaving New York. I mean, people that got the money to do that, these big companies, they're, they're moving where? They're moving to Texas. Yep. You leave in LA yeah. and New York. Those are the two major cities that represent mm. each coast. Mm. All right? That's where the goods came in. Yeah. From the East Coast and the West Coast. Mainly from the West Coast. Mainly from the West Coast. <clears throat> then it was trucked all the way over here to the middle of America to the East Coast. Because it makes all the sense in the world. But guess what? You got the West Coast, which is LA, you got the Mexico, Southern Mexico. What's the closest thing to China? All you got to do is keep going west, yeah. across the uh, Pacific. Pacific. Yep. Pacific. So why would they take ships and come all the way around the long fucking way? What right. makes make, make them sense? Make them sense. Right. Yeah. It's a shorter, it's a shorter distance. The flights from LA and all that over yes, into sir, China. I can't prove you that the world is the, the earth is closed. Yep. Um, I got dumbed down. The definition of dumbed down. It says simplify or reduce the intellectual content of something so as to make it accessible to a large number of people become less intellectually challenging 
And that, that shows you the large group of people are, are normally stupid. That's why they're calling the masses. Now, when you look up the word masses, it means death. Mass means death. So the majority of people are stupid. The majority of people are, um, are especially, ignorant. Especially women. Yeah. Especially you damn women. Yeah, the majority of is hell. Oh, hell. You go, to, you go to these universities, these colleges, and you don't common sense. You don't know. You don't know how to do it. You don't know how to do shit, man. Yeah, you take business courses. Yeah, like Apostle Tom said, you go to college, you warmed up a $60,000, $70,000 college bill to get a job that pays $40,000 a year. If that makes any kind of sense. Yeah, you women are fucking stupid. Yeah, you do that. Pretty much Except for the few women that listen to GMS. Yeah, that's it. You'll do that. You'll, you'll go to college, you'll mount a $50,000 college debt to get a job that pays you $20,000 a year. And it's usually some bullshit ass business course. You know, business license or business. <laughs> well, that's why the Lord said, My people are foolish. They have not known. Isaiah 32 and 9 Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Yeah, because a lot of you women bought into that feminist bullshit ass spirit, you know? And, and the, Lord is going, the Lord is about to bring you down from that, that ease. America just, just was this great woman that was at ease. She was she was relaxing. That's that's the same spirit that they push on these women out here, you know. And the Lord is raising up a lot of these so-called black men. They're cursing you out. Yeah. You got this dude, uh, Kevin Samuels, and that dude he be lighting you so. Well, that's a new trend. It's not yeah. just him. Yeah. There's all kind of there's all one kind dude of dudes, in a video, yeah. brother. Yeah. When yeah. he was getting down, I had to yeah. watch the whole thing. Kind. He said seven signs. You got to stay away from. Him. Woman, but he meant the black woman. Right. And everyone that he said, he was even going to the scripture. Good. Mm. Everyone that he said, I said, made 100% sense. I said, oh, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. So, so not only is Esau being exposed, you so-called <laughs> women, in particular, you so-called black women, you being exposed too. All them games that you've been running. Yep. You mean, you know, people games people play. play. Yeah, that's the joint right there. Yeah, you, you've, been, you've been exposed. You've been, you been exposed. You being exposed, so-called black woman. The so-called white man ain't the only one being exposed. You being exposed too, because you guys have been partners in crime. Yeah, your buddy. You're yep. all the buddies. Man. All the way back from the garden. Going all the way back What's to the garden. What's that in Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 4 and 30? Yep. You wrote about that and brought that out. Con, about the rent, renting. The yep. Thing. yep. And, 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 <coughs> Uh, the Apostle Paul told Timothy, the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Woo! So don't come with this Adam. Well, it was because of Adam. No, no, no. Get it right. It's because of Eve. And then Eve took it to Adam. You got, you got to Jeremiah 4 and 30. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? That's talking about you black women, man. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Yep. Oh, hold on deck, Ezekiel. Ezekiel you know saying? Ezekiel uh, 9 and 4. Oh. Okay. It says, though thou clothed thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting. Yeah, like when you go on this job, you <coughs> get up two hours before you got to be at work. Why? So you can spend an hour oh, and a half in the mirror. Woman, when they go get a job in the office position in Wall Street, they get dolled up. Bro. Oh, hell yeah. They get dolled up. You know, but you, look, let, let your master save you. Let the white, great white man save you. You'll take two hours, three hours to get ready for a job. Put that mask on. But for your for your man, you'll take a half an hour. Let's go. Then you have an attitude on your face when you with your yep. man. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. But then when you go into Esau's job, three hours you're in the mirror, <laughs> making sure everything is tight. Tight. <laughs> then you're off to the job. You're being exposed, man. You women are being exposed. Though thou rentest thy face with painting. In vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. The other they, they, will hate you, <laughs> they will seek thy life. They're going to look to kill you. Oh, yeah. A lot of you jakes are going to get caught up in this thing, man. A lot of you going to starve to death. A lot of you are going to get killed in these race riots, or these riots, class riots. Not so much race riots, but class riots. All right? And, um, it says, For I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail, and the anguish as of the uh, as of her 
that bringeth forth her first child. America is like a woman in travail right now. You got that COVID C C19. That's America as a woman in travail, and and that travail is only going to escalate. It's going to be more and more travail. That's what we're trying to tell you. 2020. You thought 2020 was bad. Wait till we get to the mid of 2021. Right? This this has got to be the year when all hell breaks loose. Just make hell sense. Hell broke loose last year. Yeah. <laughs> What's going to happen this year? You know? It says, The voice of the daughter of Zion that bewaileth herself, that spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of murderers. And, uh, we always tell you, brothers, about the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, the one at Ezekiel, right? Yeah. Uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said... Let's start at 1. Okay. Ezekiel 9 and 1, it says, He cried also, he cried also in mine ears. Oh, and when you read Ezekiel, the 8th chapter, which we're not going to go to, yeah. it tells you why the right. Most High sent the angels down right. to destroy Jacob. Right. This is something that already happened. Right. But we're using this as a reference point as to what's going to happen again. Yep. Because the angels are going to be involved in this too. The angels are already sitting... The four archangels, they're already sitting in um, the river you, the, where the river Euphrates is, man. That's right. You, you can see? Go ahead. At the back of Boston, the scripture where it says the angels go to and fro, roughly paraphrasing it, doing the bidding of Yahweh Shemel Shem. That's right. That's their job. That's what the angels do. Anyway, um, Ezekiel... Hey, what up? Remember the angel, when uh, the Lord put the spirit on uh, King David to number Israel, the angel was going to town on, on Jacob. Oh, yeah. He was tearing them up, and the Lord had to yank yeah. them back. The angels are always doing work, brothers. Yeah. The angels never, they, they don't need to. They, they're, they're just pure power. So what need do they have to take to rest? They don't rest. <laughs> they're well, like Terminator. Yeah. Yep. What was that saying? They will not stop until he absolutely kills the devil. That's, that's, that's it, yeah. They don't, they don't got to go to the bathroom. They don't got to sleep. Man, they're like the perfect servants. Of you, how about you? Well, they're the most high terminated, man. And that's why Esau's trying to build that on the earth. He's, he's trying, trying to make to he's trying to make military men that way. Yeah. That they don't, don't get tired, super they just soldiers, keep going. Super, super soldiers, soldiers. Yeah. yeah. They got but, robots. You've seen videos of that. They got robots. They look like damn they look like uh, what you see in Terminator 2. Running yeah. around with guns shooting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah man. <laughs> I got one real quick. Yeah. Psalms 103 and 20. Bless the Lord, ye his angels. That excel in strength. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I was trying to think of the scripture, but that's one of them. Uh, uh, call that again. Uh, Psalms 103 and 20. Yep. Bless the Lord, ye his angels. Ye his angels. That excel in strength. They don't get tired. They excel in strength. They don't need to take a break. They don't need to take rest. All they do is the like work. you said, they're pure energy. They're pure energy. I'll tell you that in Hebrews 1. Come. That's it. That do his commandments. Do his commandments. Whether it be good or evil, because yep. it, it doesn't matter. The Heavenly Father controls both sides, good and evil. So he has the eight evil angels doing evil. He has the righteous angels doing good. And but, evil. And it, yeah, that's true. Michael and them going to do evil, man. Right? That's true. They're yeah, coming true. back to get busy. And their evil is going to be good. <laughs> so basically, what we're showing you is you can't separate the one from the other. Because the Heavenly Father deals with both, good and evil. You can't separate. Give me that one is, I believe that's in Ecclesiasticus 39. Con, to be spirits? To be spirits, okay. yep. Can I finish this real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it says, um, hearkening unto the voice of his word. It says, I'm sorry, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. <coughs> This is uh, Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In a time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Wow. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Most of them let these angels loose in their time, man. <laughs> you can hold that in uh, uh, Revelation, the ninth chapter, around about the 12th verse, or uh, Revelation, the 16th chapter, you know? 
Like the scriptures speak about the storm, the Lord has a mighty one in the, in the storm, yep. in the tempest. Um, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Who they appease? They appease the wrath of the Most High. Yep. The Most High, the most high said, destroy, man. I kill and I make a lot. Oh, hold on deck, um, uh, Deuteronomy 32. And, and that's what you, you wacky tech Christians in these churches, that's what you got to understand. The Heavenly Father deals with both sides, good and evil. It says, fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. Lord, oh Lord. That's, that's why we fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shem Yahshem. Scriptures uh, say, give diligence. Why? Because we fear Yahweh Shem Yahshem. Uh, Deuteronomy 32, 39. That's See nice now place. that I, even I am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I, uh, 39 verse. Uh, 39 verse. Cut. De uh, Deuteronomy 32, 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. I got a precept. Uh, the book of Psalm 78 and 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Mm. That's some, that, that was the book of Psalm 78 and 49. I'll read it again. He cast upon them. Now, who's this? This is the Heavenly Father. The one you call, he's all love. God is all love. God is good all the time. <laughs> you don't know the Heavenly Father. Psalm 78 and 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his wrath, the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. <clears throat> so we can go back to uh, Ezekiel 9 and 1. Okay. Ezekiel 9 and 1. It says, uh, He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near every, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher that, gate. Those men are not talking about men, they're talking about angels. Right. They came down in the form of, of uh, terminators. They were terminators, man. Gone. And behold, six men like came. Like I said, when you read the previous chapter, the eighth chapter of Ezekiel, it was talking about how the, the Israelites, some of the Israelites, they were they were praying, weeping for Tammuz, praying to Baal. And they were secretly doing it. Mm. So there came a time where uh, the Most High said, "Look, I'm gonna kill y'all." The same thing with these niggas over here, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. these these tribes celebrating Christmas, and going to Roman Catholic church. You know, yeah. listening to Esau. Praying to so-called white man is Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yep. So-called white man is God. Latin tribes, the Most High gonna whip, Get, whip kill you. Good. Kill you good. Here it is, 2000. 21. You still and still, you're still going to, you're still getting ready to go to church tomorrow? Bound down the circle of white Bound down the Caesar Bojan? <laughs> and his yeah. fellow Moses? You crazy? Yes. Hey, you, you, them Latin tribes are stupid, man. They're gone, man. Hey, like, you can't be seeing these Latin tribes and they walk and they by themselves. Nobody around for black. They got the mask on. They, they in the car by themselves with the fucking mask on. Because they believe that this would be so tells them. Comatose. The apostle, um, that when the simple believers, every word, word. yeah, shouldn't look well till they're gone. You um, in your car by yourself driving with the mask on, who you think you're gonna give COVID to yourself? <laughs> How stupid is that? Wow, apostle, in the movie, the Terminator movies, when they, every time the Terminator came, they always came from the sky down, yep. you know. Yep. Every time an alien comes to this, to the planet, he always wants to conquer it. Yeah, I wonder yeah. why. 
No, the Predator. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Ezekiel 9 and 2. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, angels, which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's inkhorn by his side. And they went in and stood beside they had records. They keep records in heaven. So he had that record. He said, we're going to kill this that guy, this, that woman over there, that pregnant woman over there. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, with a writer's inkhorn by his side, and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the power of Israel was gone. The brazen altar was one of the idols that they were worshiping, man. Go ahead. Uh, and the glory of the power of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was, to the threshold of the house. And he called, and he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, Go ahead. and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done yeah, in the midst. Yeah, because they knew that you had Israelites secretly worshiping, sweeping the taboos, and making cakes to the queen of heaven. All right? They, 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 this is, you know, they, they were mad about it, man. Yeah. So the, so the, so the, the Lord... Well, come here, sister. Come here, sister. Come, sister, sister. Okay, okay, wait, wait, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ask your question. You gotta accept Jesus. I'm with you on that. What color is Jesus? Jesus has no color. Oh, so he was invisible? He was invisible? Huh? He's universal. He got no color. He got no. Where's that in the Bible? What, what scripture is that? Huh? What scripture is that? General. Huh? Jesus doesn't, Jesus doesn't go based on color. Wait a minute, did not he come down in the flesh? He came as a man, yeah. Okay, so he had to have a color. He had to look like a white man, a Chinese yeah, man. Yeah, but don't, okay, so don't pause me. So what, what's up with the Holy Spirit? Why do you don't believe in the Holy Spirit? Do you know the scriptures? What scripture? Do you know the scriptures? Do you know the scriptures? Of what? Do you know the Bible? Do you know the Bible? Okay, ask some, a question some, about the some, Bible. Some, some questions. But hey, go to, go to but Genesis. Don't, but don't, go to Genesis. Don't go to Genesis know my, Holy, my question is the Holy Spirit. He's the main man. you don't know that you're coming with that Christian dog. So, you, 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 so you, how you, you believe in Jesus? And you start okay, good. Let's, 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 let's change directions on that. Okay? Right. When Jesus came down, who did he come down to save? Who did he come to save? It's a man of God. Who did he come to save? Who did he come to save? People. What kind, of people. What kind of what people? Kind of people? The needy. Huh? The needy. Good, you got you close. You're yeah, close. Yeah, he's all people. Dog, this round. Who's oh, 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 it's it's to get It took you so long to say that. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, so, but, uh, so, 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 so are you an Israelite? You can, what? Are you an Israelite? I guess so. Yeah. Oh, good. See, yeah, see, oh, good. Hey, that's don't good. guess. Well, that, well, that's all right, sweetie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> the Lord came for the Israelites. Now I'm gonna ask you this question: What nationality was Jesus? Good. Jew, yeah. Give the girl a hand. Yeah, so what color are the Jews? What color are the Jews? The real Jews. Huh? What? They all depend. It goes different. No. Give Jeremiah 14 and 2. But what about the Holy Spirit? Well, can I read you this? Oh, the Holy Spirit is right. The Holy Spirit is right in the midst of us, right yep. there. Yeah, the Holy Spirit is working right now. Jeremiah 14, 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. The Jews are black. They're so called black. Okay. So who are these people in Israel calling the white people to call themselves Jews? Who are they? Who are them? Revelation. Revelation oh. do that. Yeah. If the Jews, sister, if the Jews are black, and Jesus being the king of the Jews, what color would he be? He was a black. He was. He was a. He was. He was a so-called black man. He was a dark-skinned man. Okay, the weather. Huh? No, no weather got nothing to do. The weather got nothing to do that. He was like fair-skinned, like you know, like. No, no. Where you get that? You got that from? You got that from? Christian. You got that from? Medium, medium, medium. No, no, you had to make it medium. He couldn't be black like you, right? Couldn't be dark like so-called black man. It doesn't matter. For me, he's everybody. He said for you. 
Well, what about the Bible? Right. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? Lean not upon it. I don't understand it. Revelation 2 9. You know what? You look, you, you, see, that's like Jesus Christian stuff. Loves a black man, a, a medium, a, a brown skinned man, a white man. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It don't matter. Uh, but, but wait a minute. Purple, in, the king, in, the kingdom, in, the, in the kingdom of heaven, in the kingdom of heaven, are we going to have sleep? You, you want to be in the kingdom of heaven, right? Yeah. You want to get the blessings, right? Uh -huh. Do you want to have slaves in the kingdom? Ain't no, ain't no in the kingdom of go to where you want to go. What Wait a minute now. Uh, Revelation uh, uh, 39 and 10. Okay. Ain't no slaves. You're going to be surprised. What's you ready? Slave? You ready? Revelation 13 and 9. If well, any. The, the if, slaves are those who believe in him. They're not him. They're the slaves. And they are here. Good. Too. She said that. And right? they're on the ground. Who don't believe in the Lord as being a black man? The so called white man. So the white man's going into slavery. Go ahead, read it. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. How did the black man come over here? How did the so-called black man come over here to America, West Indian Island, Haiti? By the white man, right? Did not the white man put us in slavery? Okay. Okay, good. You say yeah. I'm gonna take it as a yeah. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity. Shall Did go. Not the white man lead the black, so-called black man into captivity? Yes. So what's going to happen to him according to the Bible? Shall go into captivity. Oh, they're going into captivity. It's slavery. They're going into slavery. It's sin. It's because of sin. He that killeth sin with the, the sword must be killed with the sword. See? Here is the patience and the faith see, I see of the saints. Slowing down. I see you slowing down. No, whoever does, whoever, you slowing down whoever does, because you're realizing that Christian nonsense is not work anymore. It's sinful upon the eyes of God. It's a slave period. You just make, so that's why you, you gotta you repent, make, you, reset the Holy Spirit, well, you, and convert and get baptized and then be filled with the Holy Spirit. That's that and Christian. walk in the right that's that, of God. That's that Christian. And I agree with that's you. Only I agree with you. That's the only way to break the bondage. To break the chains. Well, hold of, the bondage. Slavery, what bondage of what? There, there you go. That's the, that's the only way to what? To break the bondage of the white man, right? So what's going to happen anyway, to the white man? The whole Is a, can the white man? It's the whole world sin. Can a white man be saved? Can a white man be saved? Can a white man be saved? Every call in the name of God, he says. No, right. no, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, you don't talk about the white man. I know. I talk about See what happens when you Christians roll up on us? You get stomped. In the midsection of the spirit. <laughs> Hebrews 12. That's when you get, you get stomped, man. And that's when you get the so-called black woman excited when you talk about the so-called white man. And she loses it. Because that, that's a secret lover. Right? Yeah. Hey. Secret lover. Well, she was, she was, that confidence, I saw that, co she, yeah. her confidence was up here. Oh, yeah. And I asked a basic question and went, whoa. Yep. 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 She was running on so that, 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 I, that, that Jeremiah was like, uh, Hebrews 12, 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, mm -hmm. who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing. Oh, the word profane, when you look it up, it means outside the temple. That's exactly what it means, outside the temple. So Esau, by naturally, is outside the temple. The temple represents Israel. You can read about that in 1 uh, Corinthians, the third chapter. It tells you about the temple. The temple is the nation of Israel. So anything outside the temple is profane. Because yep. that's what the word means. Profane means outside the temple. You got it, bro. Close side. Uh, I, I, I don't, Somebody call him. Yeah, I don't have a. I don't have I a forget can't, about it. Yeah, I can't call him. He said he's going to be. He said he might even do a lesson while he's looking. He said he might do a I lesson. We're going to park here. Temple's eye open for that. Anyway. It says, For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Yep. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Yeah, so you're not going to. You're not going to be able to. You're not going to have opportunity to repent. Esau, you see? That's it. That's it. So where are we at? Let's go back uh, to Ezekiel. 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 Ezekiel 9 and oh, I'm sorry. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Now mind you, that already happened. Right. That already happened. Right. But guess what? The things that are written the fourth time so before I learned today, it's going to happen again. And the city is what? America. You know? 
Ezekiel 9 and 4, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst there. So who's going to get that mark this time? The 144,000 and then the one-third. The two-thirds are not going to get that mark. They're going to keep doing what they're doing. They're not going to come to the realization of the Most High, Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh understanding the scriptures, knowing that the Israelites, so they're going to be destroyed. You have to read that. Somebody hold on to that Revelation, uh, uh, Revelation, uh, uh, Revelation 7. Yeah, and that Mark is talking about this knowledge, this truth. It reminds me of what the Apostle Paul told Timothy. He said, receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. So the engrafted word and mark, this mark right here, which the, the Hebrew word is, uh, what is it, quite quite? The what? Quite quite. The what? The what? No, I'm sorry. The what? The what? The what? The what? Quite quite is uh, the mark actually, of the Old Testament. Yeah, the Old Testament. Well, they actually put a, put a mark on it. Right. The what? The so what is the exemption from judgment. Exemption from judgment. Now, that's what the Apostle Paul told Timothy. Receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. That's save the most high's mark. That's the most high's mark. Save your soul from what? From judgment. Okay. You, you had some? Um, well, uh, I think you, you you want that this first puzzle, Revelation mm -hmm. 7? No, finish reading this. Okay, okay. Go to Revelation 7. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Whatever other piece of y'all got. Okay. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, for all the abominations that be done in the midst there. And to the others he said, In mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young. Somebody give me James 2.13. Uh. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. And women. Yeah, the Most High, he ain't, he ain't gonna spare it, man. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, he don't. He has total control of his emotions. Well, like like the scripture say, knowing the terror of the Lord. Yeah. That's an example right there. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. That's why we're so diligent. Because what we're reading here, brothers, is terrible. And yeah, I want to put out a thank you out there, and if you can't do a video on it, Come. to you know we we've been getting sent. Almost, I got these uh, gloves sent to me. Everything in garment. Yep. The apostles well, got, yeah. Things, man. We got uh, thermal sun, socks. Thermal socks. You know, got hey, a, but we use, and look, every winter we use the regular basic kind of. gloves. You know, we used to this, man. We used to this, man. Kind of. but, but just in case, yep. we used to this, man. The water, the water. I've been yeah. out here for going on 36 winters, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 36. As, as Gary would call it, 36 snows. Snows, yep. You know? And the sister that sent the care package. The care package, yep. yep. Yep, yeah, the water to the, the water, yep, yep. yep. Uh, so we did the right thing according to your instructions. Yeah, that's right. You know? That's right. Done. Hey, you know what I noticed, man? The spirit of giving is in GMS because uh, you know that uh, uh, the thing that the brother passed away? Done. Well, I'm looking at the different uh, people that's giving money. And I'm trying to tell them, y'all. I don't know, y'all. Y'all be giving a lot of money, man. Y'all got that spirit of giving, man. Con. There's a couple of guys from Side Town and other GMS yeah, yeah. are giving big money. Yep. You know, and uh, the man should have had the goal was 25 G's. I think he got last time I checked it 14 G's. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Yep, yep. There's 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 over there's well over a couple thousand Israelites in America, man. Yeah. That man should have got that money yeah. inside of a day, man. You know? All them other camps outside of Great yeah, Millstone. That's showing, that's showing you where your love is at, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, well, I don't know the brother, but, you know, I heard from the from uh, priest Daniela. He don't know him, but he spoke highly of him. And then uh, uh, Zabak, priest Zabak knew him personally. Yeah, yeah. He was really upset by it. So I said, well, if they're talking good about the man, I said, the man must have been, you know, diligent and so forth, right? Yeah, yeah. So we heard about the death. He got his two sons and his wife. I said, we're going to help that man, you know? Con. And then just for the record, you know, um, I guess some people are getting mad because some of the money was being sent directly to Sabak, but it, but he was 
doing that to get a few few, a few dollars to the family, you know, to help them out in, yeah. in, in the meantime. Yeah. yeah. Till they get, you know, because that GoFundMe thing yeah, takes a while. I don't think Shabak is Nah, nah. I, I told him. I don't think so. I don't believe Shabak is going to take, nah. take the money, man. I told him, look, brother, I said, I said, I said, there's no way you're going to be out here all these years teaching the word of the Lord if you didn't fear the Lord. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, it just, it's just that his doctrine has to be tweaked. Yep. talking about the box doctrine. As, as with as with a lot of the, these other Israelites. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, did you want James right now, Apostle? Yeah, yeah, hit that real quick. James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that have shown no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. Yeah, so when the most High brings judgment, he's not gonna he's not gonna say, No, I really like the horn. I really like it, you know. And that's why Gadaliah apologizing to everybody. He's trying to get his spirit right, man. Yeah. You know, and he came out and he said that everything that he did, the secret of the council, was by the, the heads. Yep. Which is wickedness, man. Yeah. You know? Total wickedness. Not to mention folly. Yeah. And yeah, you I see you get ready, you're done. Yeah. Get ready to break you up, man. yeah, you know, like they're they're paying themselves to everybody that they just squeak it clean camp. Well they're white the white supplicants. Matter of fact, go to that. They're the white supplicants, man. Damn. Those spirits gotta come back, those wicked Pharisees yep. and Sadducees. Matthew the twenty third chapter dedicated to Yahweh Shai cursing out those wicked those spirits gotta be back. Man. Yeah, because you guys in the RUIC you the leadership man, you and that spirit of the wicked spies and Pharisees, man. Con. Matthew. The greetings of men, rabbi, rabbi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like the long robes and yep. the, you know, and you know, the high the upper highest the seats. You know? Yeah, that's right, being uh, called rabbi. Yeah, man, this guy Kanai, he was using that guy, they call him the pocket. The pocket. Just using the guy, man. Anytime he needed money and shit. Now, I would have known about that. If, if any of y'all did some shit like that Time. on that fucking level, I would have fucking known about it, man. I would have yep. said, look, brother, you out, man. Yep. You know, that was complete wickedness. Straight up with And then he, snapped, he called the guy the pocket. You know, you know what that means. Yeah. Anytime he needs money, they'll go to him. Bring the yeah, like, then he smashed the guy's house like he stole all that yeah. shit. And you know he ain't doing the work no more. So you, hey, you, you, one of them guys in the book of Jews, man. Yeah. And then uh, Nate threw your ass under the bus, and I'm pretty sure Nate knew what was going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't nothing go down in there unless Nate know. Yeah. I mean, as, 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 as uh, conceited as he is, he wants to know about everything. <laughs> Nate. God. <laughs> so he, he, you know, he can be in charge of and everything. And the reason why he, know, he knows that the market is being so-called microchip, oh. you know, something that's going to be put in you. Yeah? But God. the reason why he won't say different is because if he says it, then I'm gonna say, well, wait a minute. Why ain't you down with GMS? You know? <laughs> hey, that that brother's name was what? Gat Gatalon? Gatalon. Gatalon. And he even said that the reason why all that was going on with the secret accounts is that because Nate uh, still got a pretty much a grudge against you about everything that what, was going down. But, but the thing down. is, what did I do to him? Exactly. Well, if anybody's saying. supposed to have a grudge or be hateful, it's us. Yeah, man. yeah. We didn't do shit to you, man. Yeah. All we gave you was the truth. Yeah. You know? Grimy ass. Anyway, uh, grimy ass Melvin. That's grimy ass Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matthew 23, 24. Ye blind guides. Yeah, which... come to think of it, grimy ass Melvin. <laughs> that's yeah, it. Yeah. So, uh, what was that, in too deep? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's stink me. That, 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 that is, he looked like him. <laughs> Matthew 23 and 24. Ye blind guides which strain at a net and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter. Yeah, that's those super duper garments, super duper polished garments. It says. When the precept says this, and Joel, the Lord said, turn to him, uh, weeping and fasting. Done. And uh, what, with, uh, uh, render your heart, not your garments. Right. Meaning, you know, we wear a simple garment, man, because we're supposed to turn to Yahweh and Yahshua with, with uh, weeping and fasting. Right. right. We're coming to him humble. We're not coming to him all proud. Look at this beautiful dog, yeah. you know? Well, the Lord wants a contrite heart. Yeah. A contrite heart is above the fancy garments. Exactly. We'll get that in the kingdom, brothers. In the kingdom, we'll wear the beautiful dog. It'll be time for that. But not now. It says, but within, they are full of extortion and excess. Oh, man. 
It says that blind oh, ferret. Pastor Tom mentioned the, 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 uh, that dude call him the pocket. Yep. That's extortion. Yeah. He, he, he was using, Kanai was using extortion. And you were playing on that brother's uh, kindness, kindness yep. and, uh, yeah. humility and uh, meekness, man. Yep. You were playing on it, man. Hey, if a brother had came into a lot of money, hey, I would hope that the brother don't shoot me something, yeah. break me off Willing the beach, but I'm not going to constantly get out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? Because I know That's your right. pockets are deep. I know your pockets are deep. I'm not going to do that, brother. If anything, he going to get mad at me for not accepting your yeah. brother. You don't like me, yep. brother. Right. You know? Yeah. Furthermore, uh, the scripture have said, thou shalt not covet this one of the law. Woo. Thou shalt not covet another man's ox. Right. Another man's ass, meaning the, mo the modern day ox ass. That's, 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 yeah. that's what I'll Finance, say. This yeah. to you, Sacramento. Like, I'm a couple, but you got it. I know. <laughs> 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 it's all going to burn. Oh, man. Yeah, but that's, 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 <laughs> don't look, man. You might put a request and get that one looking beat up, too. I, I, wish I, the <laughs> you know? I wish I could cover the part of this one. <laughs> It says, Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup. And that's, and that's what they didn't do. Yeah, right. They didn't do. Yeah. That's what they didn't do. And Can somebody give me right quick uh, 2 Corinthians uh, uh, 13 verse 5. I guess so. And platter. Yeah. i read that again while you're getting they it. had a reprobate mind, man. Uh -huh. A mind for the judgment. He sees it. He sees where it says about the moss. Right. But he sees something else. Yeah. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. That's why you can't break down the twelve, the twelve family. Get, get your doctrine tight. First of all, let's start with the names of the Father and the Son. Let's yeah. start there, man. With the yeah, man. It, first of all, if I was on, part of that thing, and I'm sitting in the class, and they're saying, Christ this and Christ that, I'm going to be offended, man. Offended, yeah. I, I will be offended at that, man. Yep. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, you sitting there, you keep hearing that. And to us, when we had Christ, it's like fingers on the chalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. That's it's right. like fingers on the chalk. I hate even yeah. saying, throw it in my mouth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's another God. That's, that's right. another God. Yeah. I'm saying Jesus and Jesus and Christ. That's, a, that's Christianity bullshit, you know? Hey, you brothers, you want to do an experiment? Type in Christ. Go to Google. Type no. in Christ. Oh, yeah. Then type in Yahweh Shai. You're going to see a total different Oh, oh you're going to see, you put in Yahweh Shai, it'll be all so-called black pictures. That's and, right. And, and which, some of the pictures you actually drew, Nate, then if you put in Jesus, it's going to be all white or white boys. Exactly. That's the point. So just the spirit that you're calling on is the spirit of the so-called white man. Yeah. Yep. The Edomite man. The spirit of Balem. Now, there's a prophecy where the Lord said you're going to take the names of yep. Balem out of, out of you false prophets. Yep. So you you calling upon Balem, man. You calling upon Baal. You're, you, right now you're a false prophet, mate. Right? That's what you are. You're calling upon Baal. Yep. That's it. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. And you guys have not done that. If you would examine yourself, you'd come off that stupidity of we don't have the name of the Father and the Son. When the, there's a prophecy in Isaiah when it clearly says. In the last days, the five cities shall speak the language of Canaan. Woo. What the hell is that talking about? Five cities shall speak the language of Canaan. That's a prophecy. That's a prophecy. What do you call the Most High? A liar? Are you calling him a liar? The prophecy says five. Matter of fact, we're going to read that. Not now. But we'll yeah. Hold that on deck. You know that. See, that's when when we think about that and process that. That's when we. That's when that passionate side of us come yeah. out, man. The zeal. That zeal, you know, because you think about that, you get mad, man. Yeah. The prophecy said five cities out of out of, of uh, Canaan. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Shall speak five the language. Of, shall speak uh, the language of Canaan. Right. I'm a little excited. The language of Canaan is uh, uh, Hebrew. Con. Yeah. What is it? The language of Canaan, Nate. Because the Canaanites in that region they were speaking. That's right. No? That's right. Hey, because that language that these uh, little hat people speak, that goes back to um, what was that? Strong's and uh, El. El uh, Eliu Ben Ben uh, what was his name? Ben Yehuda. Ben Yehuda. You know? That Actually, and you know what he did? He came to the conclusion that the Hebrew was Arabic, so he had to go amongst the Arab uh, Israelites and, and learn and, and learn that way. You know? So pretty much, the, you know, that's that's not the real Hebrew. Then the Strong's just said that that was like the revival 
of the language, you know? And then this guy, Nate, you call it Ebonics. Ebonics! Yeah. That's the same Hebrew that you was teaching. Yep, my man. And then if you guess what our guy was teaching, <clears throat> right. don't you throw away the sign? Yep. Why you got the sign? You got it there. Yeah. And the 12 tribes are exactly the way our guy broke it down. Yep. So wait a minute. That's very intricate to be able to link up all the tribes with these people that you're still teaching. That's very intricate. You can't just figure this shit out. The spirit of the Most High got to be with you and show you what you know what tribe is what right. in the spirit. So why you keep following uh, uh, yeah, um, uh, High Priest Ariel? Because you're full of shit, man. All those breakdowns that you use, you got from one west. But for some reason, the spirit came to you and said, well, that's not his name, call him Jesus. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. We don't have the real Hebrew. Yeah. The, the real Hebrew is Ebonics. Okay. Uh, all right, yep. Second, Second Corinthians 13. You, tell people that come to school, <laughs> you gotta be a stupid ass to follow the IUIC. When you come to school, your name is John Smith. Now you gotta change your name. You gotta change your name. That's a, that's what he called a cool name. Cool name, yep. But wait a minute, Jesus is a cool name, man. <laughs> the, 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 the slave master had you call on Jesus. That was a fucking cool name, yeah. man. Hey, imagine, imagine doing a, 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 a lesson entitled that, Jesus is a cool name. Oh, All right, 2 Corinthians 13 to 5. Now, where, where did the apostle fall? If you go to Romans, the 16th chapter, you start from the top and read the whole chapter. All those different names, they were all Greek and Roman and Latin names. Right. But they were Israelites. One of them was even called a uh, name Hera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Yep. <laughs> I mean, Herod is associated with the Edomites, but it's not a bad name. You know, I mean, like, like Judas. Judas yeah. Once again, Judas was a popular name. Right. right. It wasn't just one Judas that betrayed the Irish. Yeah, Judas was a common name. You had a Jew, the brother of Jew, Jew, yeah. yep. You had Judas, uh, uh, Jew, Judas Maccabee. Judas, Judas Maccabee, Maccabee, yep. You, you read it? Yep. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. It says, Examine yourselves, whether examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Mm. And we do this every day. Beginning of Elder Pastor, Elder Pastor on down. We do this every day. Examine ourselves. We examine ourselves according to the scriptures. And if anything is, is, is off kilter, we try to tweak it. That's what this thing is all about. That's what this truth is all about. We're trying to get ourselves right before you how about Shimmy And that's why I did a video on uh uh, this guy Barack talking about uh, Nate, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, said that Nate is yeah. teaching uh, about uh, it was the Romans the eleven chapter yeah. and that, that the uh, wild out of Israel. Yeah. Well, you gotta you gotta get your you gotta get your game up, Bob. Right. You gotta really get your game up. Yeah. But really, it goes the, the, the blame kind of goes on you, uh, uh, Alazar, the priest Alazar. Mm. All right, because you you know that Cornelius is an Israelite. But you down with Barack. You're supposed to tell tell Barack he's going on. Right. Where's that? Uh, uh, Galatians uh, five and one is it? Uh, oh yeah. Six and one. We'll take the four. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Galatians six and one. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Yeah. So. You, al you know that uh, Cornelius is an Israelite. You know that the uh, wild olive tree are Israelites, right? But you go under a guy, a Barak, and Barak's still teaching that, that nonsense, man. You're supposed to pull him to the side and say, well, look, man, you're going off, man. That's right. The scriptures say that's why we go on the uh, unity camp. There's nothing, there's no unity in a unity camp. If you got people with different doctrines, open rebuke. Open rebuke is better than secret love. And that's why a lot of people hate us because we tell you the truth. Tell you like it is. Might become your enemy. It might become your enemy. Yep. Uh, 2 Timothy 2, 24 to 26. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient. In meekness. And how can you teach? You don't the, the way you get, get to be a teacher is once you learn everything. You can't learn half the course and become a teacher. Con. You can't become an auto mechanic teacher and not know the old the, the mechanics of a car. 
Yeah. Oh, I don't know the electrical part. Well, you're not a mechanic. Right. You know? I got like a quick question. Um, uh, like you always bring out, Ezekiel, eat the, eat the whole roll. And what, um, what I say, let's go, let's go down the line. The IUIC roll. is not eating the whole roll. ISUPK is not eating the whole roll. Uh, HODC is not eating the whole roll. GOCC. GOCC is damn sure not eating the whole roll. I don't know what they eat. Yeah, what are they eating? <laughs> Preset. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 28, verse 9. And after you eat the whole roll, what do you do? Then go out and eat so, 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 Nate, Bishop Nate, as you like to call yourself, you are not qualified to be out there teaching, man. You're not qualified, man. Yahani, you damn sure ain't qualified. You, even them comedic people was cursing your ass out. He an agent. He an agent. He, that nigga done sold out. He just said he was compromised. You know? Yeah. You, you done. You done, your honor, man. You didn't take all that fucking money you got. You better go to China some back then, bro. You like that turkey in go the oven. Go back to Jamaica and shit. You like that turkey in the oven. <laughs> I'm getting basted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the guy said it. Uh, so I met, oh, Sarnet so is a trip. He's a funny dude, man. He said, that's why the Most High set me up to, to correct you guys. And then he's bringing out scriptures here. But I mean, the scriptures are on point. He said, see, the Most High using me. Well, wait a minute, I thought you was comedic, man. Right. And all these comedic dudes, all they, every topic is Hebrews and Israelites. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, man, you must got a, you know, what's the term you use? You must got a fetish, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. fetish, yeah. You got to think, man. You're like, man, you look at me. <laughs> hey, man, I be listening to Saab. He be, that dude be cracking me up. He said, now give me, he, he won't say first periods. He said Corinthians. What he, he, I said, no, wait, it's a first and second. So you that you don't know the scripture, they don't read it. You see, you see the most high is using me, brother. You can't even get the books to right. get you guys straight. The most high is using me. And then he'll say, if you guys, if the Lord is dealing with you Israelites, why do y'all got different camps? Because one group got it right and the rest of them got it wrong. That's it. Okay? <clears throat> That's simple answer. It's just that simple. Hey, because remember the Pharisees and them said that they spoke about Yahweh's doctrine. Right. You know? They say you 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 think to fill Jerusalem and tend to fill Jerusalem with your doctor, yeah. So yeah, so you're you're always gonna have different doctrines, right? But there's only one true doctrine. That's that Ephesians the fourth chapter. God. One Lord, one baptism, one faith. So there's only one true doctrine. I got I got a scripture for those. We got it. And we got God. I got a scripture for those. If you ain't sure about a scripture, just come slide all over, slide on over to one of our pages. We'll give you the answer, man. Come on, man. Make you that be, yeah. We sound like a go commercial. Ahead, go ahead, Whitey. Make that <laughs> we sound like a commercial, right? If you ain't sure about it, just slide That's on over there. We're going to make commercials. GMS commercials. GMS. Just slide on down. Slide on down and ask us, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, like late at night, you be watching a movie. <laughs> if you're, if you're, GMS <laughs> commercial. If you're tired of... Old, old Sam's. <laughs> Why not try? <laughs> Are you tired of breaking your brain trying right. to figure out what that means? You, you, you tired of breaking your, you know, getting a headache trying to break down? <laughs> the book of Revelation. We'll slide your ass. <laughs> <laughs> when it, it was stand, 24, 24 seconds, stand up by. Yeah, yeah, then you yeah. have a brother at the end speaking all quick. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how they do with those commercials? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, uh, this is for the for the ones that haven't ate the whole roll. <laughs> that's the top. That's the top. No, no, that's the top. And I'm commanding you to make them give me one. This is for the ones that have to make the whole roll. Come Hebrews 5 and 12. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are full age. You're a baby. You're a baby. You're a baby. Yep. 
It says, but strong meat belonging to them that are, are you full. You ready for strong meat? But strong meat belonging to them that are full age. Why you think Volcab saw this out, man? He he had to come coming before us. Cause he said, if I can if I can found these guys, man, I done did my job. And what happened when Volcab came with his crew? They got they got they got they got they got they got their asses, man. Yep. Go, man. And and he bowed to you. And he bowed to you. And he gave you that book. Yeah, one of their dudes, they said, they said uh, good build, good build. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait a minute, they didn't come there to build with us. They came there to destroy us. Right. But why did he end up saying good build? Hey, well, that's, if I may, uh, that's Luke, Luke 21. And uh, if, if we could bring that out, God, Luke 21, get that 15. Let's, let's get that. That's, that was an example of that, Luke 21. And I believe you, Howie Shai said it. We're going to read it. Uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 15. Yep. For I will give your mouth. What, what, what 14 say? 14. Uh, sell it, settle it, therefore, in your heart. Now, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. These are his words. Go ahead. Settle it, therefore, in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. Right. Go ahead. For I will give your mouth and wisdom, Go ahead. which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And vocab was one of our adversaries. But he couldn't gainsay nor resist the spirit that we came in. And at first we didn't even want to, the pastor Todd didn't even want to deal with it. Hey, well, we, we, like 20 minutes, almost half an hour, we just stood, it was like a Mexican standoff. You know, we, like, like basically gave them our backs. Then after a while, the spirit jumped on the pastor and we started dealing with it. And it was a good girl because there was a lot, a lot, a lot of things that were broken down, man. And that's why it took him so long, it took him a year to actually put, put that thing together, man. And he because, chopped, you know, chopped the screw. Well, he had to chop, chop it up, yeah? Yeah. And uh, also, hold on, uh, uh, Isaiah 49. Okay. Yeah, so that was Luke 21 and 15. The Lord said, give us uh, uh, wisdom oh, yeah, that yeah. our adversary shall not be able to gain and say, no resistance. Yeah, yeah, so Arnetta on is one of our right. adversaries, too. They can't resist. Everything they talk about is Israel this, Israel that. They can't resist it, man. That, and that's not of our doing. That's of Yahweh washing our shy's doing. That's right. And what, that, what we're doing is just like the scripture said. We're convincing the gainsay, man. Convincing the gainsay. Using the power <laughs> of Yahweh washing our shy through the Holy Spirit. This is not of us. You know, we don't, we're, we're, you know, we're doing this by ourselves. No, we're doing this by the power and spirit of Yahweh washing our shy. We're doing this so we can re receive a reward. And we're the will. We're like, the, we're trying to, our best to be like the angel. Kiss the sun. That kiss the sun, Woo. make DCP angry. DCP angry. We're trying to tell you, brothers, how about Shemiah Shai right now is super angry. And you're going to see it. You're going to witness it. When all hell starts breaking loose, bodies dropping dead like crazy, you wake up one morning, a thousand people got massacred, killed. That's going to be on the daily norm, man. That's going to be the daily norm. You watch. You're going to see. Hey, I got a cup for you, mate. And this is... Uh... What is it, 2 Timothy, the second chapter, the fourth chapter, the second verse, in season now, see, oh, see what I sorry. get it right? Oh, yep. I just quoted, in season now, it's yep, yep. <clears throat> when you were part of the original One West, when you, you was part of my camp, yep. all right, did we not go out all, all winter, all year long? Did, did, did we not get that from my elders over us? Yep. So why do you give your men breaks when it comes to the winter time? You ain't out here in New York. You ain't out here in New York. You come out here in the spring, man. Yep. You know? So you go you doing your own thing, man. And that's good. That's what the Apostle Paul said. And the, and the, and the Lord was speaking to the Apostle Paul. Go ahead, read. Uh, 2 Timothy 4, 1 and 2. I charge thee. Start at 1. So we're going to read down into it. 2 Timothy 4 and 1. I charge thee, therefore, before Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shai, who shall judge the quick and the dead. Now, why was Paul able to say what he said and tell other people under him? Because the Lord set him up. It was an order, man. Peter was over Paul, but Paul was over the rest of them, but Paul was especially over the Gentiles. He said, I therefore magnify my office. The wild owl tree for you, Barak, and I, as uh, 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 HODC, come on, brother. You, you, you know what? It's that pride, brother. Well, I ain't gonna listen to Harp. You gotta consider, well, if Tahar said it, he must be saying right, something right. Let me go research it for ourselves. Here it is 2021, and you still teaching that Phonasian Edomite, man. That's a 
Crazy. In the wild out of the trees, the other nation. Come on, man. Come you on, need man. To, you, need to, you need to cut up your game, man. You need to, you, Barack, you need to up your game. Eat the road. Now, mind you, Barack, when you dress, you look like an angel that, that jumped down from heaven. But meanwhile... The most high didn't, the most high didn't set up no fashion show. Exactly. Yeah, that's the point. I know you can't say that. Don't even say that. Go ahead. 2 Timothy 4, 1 and, one and well, 2. Let's show you where Mahal is now. See, see. Fashion show, fashion show. See, brothers, it's not about those fancy garments, brothers. It's about getting that doctrine right. It's about getting that truth right. It said that the two witnesses, you're going to call the two witnesses in Revelation 11 bums? You're going to call them bums? It said they were they had the garments of mourning on them. Yeah, dressed in sackcloth, sack man. Yeah. Sackcloth. Go ahead. Second Timothy 4, 1 and 2. I charge thee therefore before the heavenly Father and the Lord Yahweh, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. That's right. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all, all long suffering and doctrine. Oh, and doctrine. So there's only one doctrine. Twenty-one doctrine. There's not five different doctrines. Right. Uh, third verse. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. We can mention them different camps. Yep. Teaching that uh, uh, Panes and the Edomites, that's not sound doctrine. Right. You God. know? Teaching that the mark of the beast yeah. is, 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 uh, is sin. Christianity and sin. sin. It's not sound. And then Nate, you said one time, the mark of the beast is for the corporations in the nation. Right. Now all of, us, all of a sudden it's sin. Big nations and little nations. Big nations and little nations. When you read the next verse, 17 verse, it said any man that, buy, uh, that does not have the mark cannot buy or sell. Right. So if this guy's saying that it's sin, you guys say that you don't sin because you keep the law, how in the hell are you going in the store and buying shit, man? Right. It's not how the hell are you paying for your cell phone bill? It's not sin. Huh? It's not huh? Sound. That money that you get that people send to you, then guess what? They got the mark of the beast, according to you. And you're accepting it, buying and selling. You sell things, uh, uh, original royalty. Yep, yep. That shit is that shit. Calendars, fidgets, yep. garments, starter kits. Masks. You have, you know, you're, you're, able to, you're able to buy and sell over the internet. Right. Well, you must have the mark. You see how stupid that sounds, man? But you know what? I don't feel sorry for you clowns. Right. All right? Yep. Now you can go ahead, if you want it, you can listen to your honor and go ahead and take that Maxine, man. Because Captain Desiree I could have taken it. Uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 3. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. That's why the most high don't get rid of you niggas, man. 1 Peter 4 and 17. Yep. Judgment, Judgment first shall begin. begin at the house of the Heavenly Father. The, the leaders of this people cause them to err. The leaders yep. of this people cause them to err. So judgment is coming, man. 2 Timothy 4 and 3. For the time will come when they will not endure. We're in that time now. They will not endure sound doctrine. And that word, is that's a key word, endure, because endure literally means to make hard. So for you to stay on the path of truth, you got to be hard, man. You got to be hard against lies. You got to be hard against, uh, uh, what is that, uh, hypocrisy yep. of any kind, right? Yahweh Shai was like that. Yahweh Shai was hard against hypocrisy of any kind, austere lies of man. any kind. He was an austere man. He was an austere man. That's how you got it. That's why I'd say you have to endure sound doctrine. Endure means to make hard. A person that endures, that person becomes hard within the mind. He becomes hard, man. Tough. Okay? A lot of you guys, you, a lot of you guys are not tough. A lot of you guys are wishy-washy. Like, like the scriptures say, you, any wind of doctrine, you, you, you bow to it. You know, you're not, you're not firm. Go to that in Ephesians. Yeah. Ephesians Go to that. You're not firm. You don't come back to this. Right? We're firm. Begin with Elder Apostle and down. Got we're firm. Yeah. You know it shows that you, you, the, people, the Israelites that they were talking about, if a new guy comes in, oh, right. like this guy. Uh, what's this guy? Uh, or the guy uh, with the gun. The gun guy. The gun guy. The, 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 the Fed's quarter. Oh, J. Uh, J. Uh, J. Uh, J. 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 No. Uh, Master Jim, something. Jim. Master J or something like that. Yeah, Grandmaster we Grand Jay. Grandmaster Jay. Look, he Grand came out and all you niggas just flocked him, yeah. man. Oh, that's the new nigga, man. And then what happened? A couple of weeks later, one of, one of the guys shot shot himself in the foot. Then he got arrested by the feds. Y'all ain't following him. Y'all ain't tearing down the prison to get him out of here, man. Yeah. 
Because that nigga just came out of nowhere, man. <laughs> and guess what? He's gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, like, you know what I'm saying? Wind of doctrine. Yeah. Wind of doctrine, man. Dude, you like them. He came with some. First, first he came with the comedic shit. Then he came with the Hebrew Israelite shit. Yeah. You know? Sure. Yeah. And you niggas just flocked to him, Water. man. Simple believer that he now? We ain't heard of, We ain't heard him. We ain't heard of, uh, heard of him Pete. In, a, in months. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, that, the nigga came and that's the fulfillment yeah. of Acts, what Gamaliel said. Okay. Acts, uh, the fifth chapter. Lay, leave him alone for this, this work of this. Yeah, because we, 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 we've been out. I've been in this thing going on 36, 36 years, man. That's right. That's right. 36 years. Come. That's right. That's a long time. Too. Long Every time. 36 winters. 36 snows. 36 snows. Hey, they, 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 it's like them people that follow Barabbas back then. They desire Barabbas instead of Yahweh Shai. Right. No, that's a good point. Where we at? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14. Start at 11. Uh, verse 11. That says, And he gave some apostles and some prophets. No, it's not at 1. Ephesians 4 and 1. I therefore. <coughs> I. Let me let this. Let me let that. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Yeah, you got guys that are not walking worthy of the vocation. That's a key word, vocation. That literally means to call. Come. To call. Go ahead, bro. With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. In Enduring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one power and father of all who is above all and through all and in you all. Of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Yahweh Shai. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? That's talking about when Yahweh Shai, when he uh, uh, went to the ground, he was buried. Yep. He was putting it in the tomb. You know? Then after three days, he raised up out of that tomb. Go ahead. He that descended. He wasn't no. He wasn't burning in hell for three days. Three days. No. <laughs> Pursuing to them stupid ass Christians, man. You see that little girl that came up with Jesus and the Holy oh, yeah. Spirit. We done, we done cut. She done cut her up, man. We done, we done cut her up, man. She cut her up and stitch her back together. Yeah, she knew it. Yeah. yeah. She wanted to get out of here. She was uncomfortable. Right? Yeah. You know, it's funny that for a moment there she started getting it, but then yeah, she. Yeah, because she said Israel and then she. Yeah, yeah. Since you started skedaddling. Yep. Well, like we read earlier, Luke 21 and 15, I will give you wisdom which your adversary shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. That's the yeah, truth. Yeah, we're convinced to gainsay. Yep. So yeah. Annette is convinced. All these guys are convinced. They just don't want to admit, admit yep. to it, man. And sometimes it's just simple logic. You hit them simple scriptures and that, that'll, you know, get your mind working. Right? All we've been dealing with is with a simple basic scripture. Man. Yeah. It. it might look like that we were going deep to certain people. We weren't going. This is all basic. This yep. is basic stuff, man. This, the simplicity that's in your how we shine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. That's right. That's right. Matter of fact, you got it. Okay. He he. That the you got certain guys out there in GMS that want to find the deepest scripture. Yeah, yeah. You know, so they can come off super deep. We know yeah, yeah. y'all, man. Right. You guys are young in the spirit. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He that descended. Yeah, seasoned man don't don't get it though. A seasoned man just gets right to the point. That's what it's all about. Just get right to the point. Make the point and move on. You got it. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens. That's the hour shot. That he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles. Oh, read that again. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah, the Ephesians chapter 4 verse 10. He that, de he that descended is the same also that ascended above Oh, I'm sorry, up far above all heavens. Now, this is a question for a guy, like, as a Christian, Muslim, you say, how many heavens are there? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's going to mess them up. Yeah. 20? The heavens are the heavens are the heavens. The heavens are the heavens. Okay, well, that's in the apostles. The heavens are the heavens are the heavens. Go ahead. 
all right it says um uh he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things and he gave some apostles and some prophets and well, who are the only apostles on the planet even Tom Cruise made a movie about us. He had, he had us paid by white men, but don't call it a fight against the apostles. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. What was that one? By the way, Nate, apostles are over bishops, okay? <laughs> They're also above high priests, okay? You can't be an apostle, right? Yeah, nice. All right? <laughs> well, you, you, don't you even, can't handle the truth. You don't even know the name of the Father and the Son, so right there you... Yeah, how you gonna be a bishop if you don't know the name of the Father and the Son? <laughs> That's a joke. Hey, the, well, the, the secret. Oh, it's secret? Really? Oh, secret, yeah. oh really? Did the, didn't that the most I say to Amos? Yeah. Surely. Surely I don't do nothing but reveal the secret, of my secret of the servant of the prophet. prophet. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't the most I want to be called by his name? Yep. Sure. Oh, oh, What does it oh, say oh. in St. John 17? Oh, oh, oh. Matter of fact, go to that. You go right to the point. Uh, Although the whole, the whole, these, these are, uh, these guys right here, these two guys right here, walking down the street, the seven, the, the, Make their instructors the key. You see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Just keep on keep, stepping. Keep stepping. Can, can I read this real quick? Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. His holy name. What's holy about Jesus, Nate? What did I just ask for? Uh, St. John 17, was it? St. John 17. You started at 9. nine. It's really the whole chapter. Christ. Great. Go ahead. Uh, St. John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Go ahead. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine. Go ahead. And I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I came to and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name. Keep through thine own name. Keep through thy own name. Mm -hmm. Tho those whom thou hast given me. Those whom thou hast given me. So keep keep the name with them. Yeah. Go ahead. That they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world. If you're gonna be one, one, that means you got you. You all speak the same thing, right? That's right. The same name. And that you all speak the same, same thing. thing. There'll be no divisions among you. We don't let there be no division among you. We all be calling fact, on you the same. Matter of fact, you can hold on that uh, first Corinthians third chapter and start from the top. Yeah. yeah that's we, another one. That whole that whole chapter. That's that's the topic right there. First Corinthians the third chapter. Right. That goes into a lot. We'd be all calling the same name. One guy calling this name, another guy calling that name. That's but madness. the thing is, what cuts Nate is the fact that 20 some odd years ago, you did a video uh, exclusively the on the name of the Mosaic. His name is Yahweh, <laughs> and his son's name is Yahweh. If you can't, let's go into the Hebrew yeah, yeah. with all your rings and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's go into the Hebrew. See, this is Yahweh, yeah. and this is Yahweh. But you were speaking that fucking ebonics, man. Fucking clown. <laughs> you got it, you got it. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. First Corinthians 3 and 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal. Even unto babes in Yahweh Shah. Were you reading? First, you said First Corinthians three and one. Is that what? I didn't want that now, now but oh, oh, since you got to go ahead. Okay. And read. Go ahead I, and read. Okay. So like, it says, and I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Yahweh Shah. And that's why we don't have debate. Yeah, but well, we don't have debate on it. If you can't see it, you can't see it. Huh? All right. The Most High. If you can't see it, the Most High close your eyes. Go ahead, I. I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto you were not able to bear it. I got a quick oh, question. What's the perfect example of you did give them a little meat and they choked on What's the perfect example? Oh, the rape thing. The rape oh. That's another thing that you can't get uh, a date. The rape thing. You made a yeah. big thing over that. The went recent video I did, I made it crystal clear, man. Yeah. He went down to Jamaica and said that, he, first of all, you disrespected the pastor R by calling him by his government name. <clears throat> then he went on to say that he teaches straight up rape, which is a different lie. The, the video's out well, there. Based upon that, we can sue you. All we gotta do is get together with Galilee and we can sue your ass, man. You mentioned the man's government. You crazy, man. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Nate, you the, da you the damn devil, man. You, you, you crazy. a real fucking Something demon, wrong man. With you, bro. You the real fucking demon. You told the fucking nurse, 
Go ahead and take it out. You can take the bet. Now you're saying you ain't going to take it. That's and it. if that first takes it, that's on her ass, man. Yep. And then he's on. You were on that demonic. There is a man named such and such. And you talking to them dudes. And them dudes from Jamaica. What the hell they know? Man, you, you something wrong with you, man. That's that, all that hate. That's all that yeah. hate and envy you got in your heart. Some speak to and envy and strength. Ooh. That's you. And that's why you rolled on uh, blocking it, man. So it's coming out. That demon is coming out of you. Man. That's yeah. you. You know, you know, you got a guy, like either a regular eater bite, yeah. he opens up, crack, and the demon pops out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the moon. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Did you ever see a movie like yeah. oh like no he's the, he's the guy from Alien the first Alien oh yeah <laughs> oh, oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So this guy popped John, out of his stomach yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. all of a sudden yeah. popped yeah. out yeah. Like that. That, popped yeah. out. that yeah. was Nate that was Nate yeah. man yeah. and your ass scary too eating from within eat from within yeah. like, oh like that movie what was it Tales from the Hood uh Doctor Sims he wanted to turn to the devil. Oh yeah, well, that, this yep. ain't no funeral home. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yep, 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 yep. You know? but what what yep, was yep. his motivation to do that? Though? I mean, the video is still out there. You see his face; he's like in the demonic spirit. There's a man, and then he mentioned your name and talking about the rape thing. And what what possessed you to do that, man? Honestly, what what possessed you to go into that spirit? If not hate and envy. They're in that Edomite spirit because what their their thing is, so people won't believe anything we say. They try to make us paint us in a bad light. So then anything else that we say, people won't accept it. And that's the same shit that Esau does. And, and you know what? That's a demonization. Give, give me, uh, I believe it's uh, Deuteronomy 4. You can start from around the top. I think it's around the second and third verse. It speaks about taking away from the law. All right. It says, um, Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them that you may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord power of your fathers giveth you. You shall not add, verse 2, you shall not add unto the word which I command you, which is the law, go ahead. neither shall you diminish aught from it. Neither shall you diminish aught from it. Woo. So what did he do? He added and diminished to it, all right? Yeah, yeah. He added and diminished. But he'll tell you out of the same side of his mouth, other side of his mouth, keep the law, keep all the laws. And they don't even teach the laws at that school, man. Right. Read that again, please. Come. You shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish aught from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your power which I command you. So when you read Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter, what does it go into? Marriage. If, uh, if, you, if you're engaged to be married to a woman and if a man lays with that woman and she screams, the man be put to death. If she don't scream, they both be put to death. If she's uh, engaged with somebody, the same thing applies. It's almost like she's married. Even before they had to uh, con consummate the marriage, right? Then it goes into, what if a man takes a woman by force? But because you got emotional, man, you you, you kind of came up against us. So really, you coming up, coming up against the laws of the most high. Yeah. Yep. IUIC, you're done, man. And ISUPK is already done. You don't yep. got a choice. They're done. It's done, man. If this work be of the most high, you cannot overthrow that, 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 it. That ISUPK is going to be over, overthrown, and I, IUIC is going to be overthrown, man. Yeah. I got a precept to add to what you read. Proverbs uh, 35 and 6. Every any, any scholar, any biblical scholar will laugh at you. Yeah. All right? Proverbs 35 and 6. Every word of the most high is pure. He's a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Sixth verse, add thou not unto his words, mm. lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Well, he's been found a liar. You getting ready to be found a liar about the mark of the beast being a microchip? Oh, if, if we, I said we would bring it out, uh, Isaiah 24, uh, yeah. the uh, language of Canaan. That's Isaiah 19. I'm sorry, Isaiah 19. I, I, brother, I, I went through it. Please. Oh, yeah, come, yeah, come. Come. Uh, That's one of those that you remember. Huh? That's one of the ones you remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember that one. Because yeah, I actually did topics on it. Uh, scripture. No, yeah. Isaiah 19 and 18. I'm just oh, and by the way, this is why the Most High said uh, two or three. Right. But sometimes you forget, you know, and the next guy, oh, it's. Yep. What, right. what, what, that was yeah, 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 you know. And we're, no. supposed, we're not supposed to be perfect, perfect. You know, we're supposed to have shortcomings. It's supposed to be one perfect, not two perfect. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 
Hey, they said about Apostle Paul that his appearance was weak, but his letters were powerful. So weighty, yep. Weighty and weighty, yep. Um, Isaiah 19 and 18, it Paul, says... Paul, understood? Yep. Yeah. Isaiah 19 and 18, it says, In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt, that's it, the land of Egypt, speak the language of Canaan. So what is that talking about? And when was that uh, prophecy fulfilled? Nate, what is the language of Canaan? What is this land of Egypt? In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear to the Lord of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord. What day? When is that talking about? Hold on, what's the altar to the Lord? What is the altar to the Lord? What's the altar to the Lord? America. Right. Yeah. Oh, America oh, the altar. The altar yeah. the Lord. That's, why the, that's why the Lord got us all over the country and around the world. Because we're in the altar, man. And then after the Mosai takes us out, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to, um, he's going to, uh, uh, christen this place with yeah. fire. Yep. Remember, yeah. America, Babylon the Great, is the great altar. Yeah. And the people are going to be the offering. Yeah. And the people are going to be yeah, the yeah, offering. You know? There's a scripture like where he said the people shall be meat. Yeah, that's... Uh, for, the, for, the, for the missiles. Meat. Yeah, I think that's uh, Isaiah 9. Just like at an altar you would sacrifice... You would sacrifice, you would sacrifice meat on the altar. Well, um, just like Pastor Tom said, America is that altar. The people are the meat. And the heavenly father... So when they eat myself, well, if you don't like this place, you can leave this country. No, you're supposed to tell them, look, America, Babylon the Great, is a great altar mm -hmm. where we're supposed to condemn this place. Yeah. Um, Isaiah the 13th chapter, shake the hand, lift the upper banner, shake the hand that they may go into the gates, gates of the nobles. nobles. And guess what? We already went to the gates of the nobles. Because them Rothschilds and shit, they know about us, man. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Them the motherfuckers that give us the thumbs down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see that first thumbs down? Yeah. Jacob Rothschild. Yeah. I think I will give them it. <laughs> they, they got that uh, blood flavored popcorn they eat. Hey. Yeah. When they sit and watch it. And the little little baby blood and shit, you know? You gotta shake the popcorn up. You know, get the blood to seep down in there. Blood flavor. Like you know, like the like the butter gets in there. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, no. go ahead, go ahead. It says, for every, uh, Isaiah 95, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Which is a missile. <coughs> yep. And, and the, the fuel of fire um, is the body. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The living body, the flesh. Yeah, because uh, the chariots too, they're going to melt people. Yep. People are going to be running. And gonna... um, what is that? E e Ezekiel? I will melt them. You can bring that out. Oh, I was thinking about what you how we well, said. Well, there's one in us, uh, Psalm 58. I think it's going to be melted a couple of times. It was in Psalm 58. So it's going to be melted. Yeah, the missiles and the chariots. Uh, there's a scripture where how I said he will cut the hypocrites asunder mm -hmm. when he comes. Now, the, them laser beams out of the chariots, they can literally cut you asunder. You know, a laser beam can hit you and half of your body goes this way and the other half goes that way. Right? <laughs> yeah. we got, I got we Isaiah got? 58 and 7. Big slice. Call that the big slice. Right. Go ahead. It says, uh, let them melt away as waters which run continually Woo. when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows. That bow and those arrows, are the, the bow is the silos. Those arrows are the missiles that come up out the silos. There's the, another one that makes a reference to melt. There's another one I can't find. If I knew the wording, I could get it. And, and the Heavenly Father created those missiles. He was Esau the created. Let me just read that to you, brothers. Isaiah 54 and 16. I got, I got one. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. So what is that talking about? Those missiles. Who is the smith? Esau, the scientist of Esau, creating those missiles. Hey, ever since what? The late 40s, there have been a missile race. Since the right after World War II. You know what they were preparing for? Esau was preparing for World War Three, <laughs> because that's the, Armageddon. That's Esau's blessing. That's his blessing. The, the sword. So right after World War Two, they were preparing for what? World War Three. Yeah, Armageddon ain't no damn movie where some two meteors 
come and hit the earth and they run and shit. Armageddon is that day going war, man. That's it, mountain of truths. I'm a god one in the Hebrew, which means mountain of truths. God. Uh, this is Ezekiel 22 and 20. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin <coughs> into the midst of the furnace. Who you reading from? Uh, Ezekiel 22 and 20. Go ahead. Uh, to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. That's a, that's a thing. Huh? Uh, verse 21. Now, a good example of that, <laughs> to bring in a visual, that movie, uh, Terminator 2, with the scene with Sarah Connor, played by Linda Hamilton, when she's on the <coughs> fence. Well, that's Zach Zachariah 14 and 12. Oh, that was good. You see, you, those of you that haven't you seen that, that movie, you should go and check that movie out. Particularly that scene. It, and it's actually, a famous scene, man. It's, it's a famous she's holding scene. on to the fence. She sees the, the, the missiles coming as, as a vessel of destruction. Yeah, a vessel of destruction. Yep. It was like a broom. It was like yeah. a broom. Sweep, sweeping, angelic yeah. broom swept the, 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 the building. The heat. Yeah. And it just swept. And then she was, and she was trying to save the children. And she grabbed onto the fence. And she was screaming. And then the flesh, and then the flesh came off her body. You know? Yep. Peel the way. And that's what the Heavenly Father is talking about. I will melt them. Yep. Uh, and, and I just read to you the prophecy, <coughs> Salaki, I just read to you the prophecy in Isaiah 54 and 16. The Lord said you have created the waster to destroy. So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, actually created those missiles. Oh, like Apostle Star said, that's the Most High's chip. Yeah. Well, guess what? Those missiles, that's the Most High's missiles. Yeah. Well, he's going to be in the midst of it. I believe that's, uh, yeah. is that Ezekiel 38? Ezekiel 38 or yep. Ezekiel 39. Yep. Yep. About the 17th verse. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you got you got you got the ICBM missile, intercontinental ballistic missile. You got the missile called Satan. You got another missile called the Nation. Moab. You got a, a missile called Moab. You got the Scud missiles. The different missiles have different names. But the missiles are the most highs uh, they're, they're part of his army, Joel the second chapter. They're one of his armies. One of his armies. Got it out? Come. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel 38 and 17. Thus saith the Lord power, I'll doubt he whom I, I have spoken in old time by my servants, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied in those days many years, that I would bring thee against them. And it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come against the land of Israel, uh, yep. saith yep. the Lord power, that my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Yeah, because on the geopolitics scene, something's going to happen with Russia and Israel that's going to prompt Russia to shoot missiles on Israel. And that's where America... It'll most likely be something with Iran and Israel, but uh, uh, Russia's going to back up Iran and uh, uh, Persia, which is Iran, you know? <laughs> that makes sense. That makes total sense. Yep. And then America's going to get into the mix. Because yeah, the of, of them shall draw them out. Yeah, America's a guard for Israel. Every president in recent years, they all, whether it be Democratic or Republican, right. they all they all praise uh, Israel. Israel huh? yep. They never talk. They bad all got to go to Israel and put the beanie on yep. and, and well, yep. and even that, even that wall. demon, even that fucking demon Barack Obama. Right. Why is that? Why when is Barack that? Obama's oldest daughter, she's dealing with the Edomites. Now, I thought Barack Obama was supposed to represent black people, yeah, man. Cool. But you niggas, you stupid niggas fell for that clown. You know? Yeah, you sure did. It, sure, it says, surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. And that land of Israel is talking about the actual land. Because that land is going to be uh, nuked. But that land is going to also be cleansed. Unlike America, America is going to be nuked. But America is going to remain a desert. But Israel is going to be nuked, but it's going to be cleansed. Right? Uh, hence that song, I've been through the desert on the hearts of no name. name. Yeah. It's so good to be out of the rain. The rain represents those missiles rain on. In the desert, you can't remember your name because yeah. there ain't no one to give you no fame. Yeah. The, the forbidden zone. Forbidden zone. Yeah, in Israel today, you got a nuclear dump site in the country called Demona. You know that's got to be clear. And that's where these, these clown Negroes are, man. <laughs> those, those, those Israelites over there, Demona, yeah, Israel. Yeah. So you know that land, that land has got to be cleansed. Ain't nobody talking about them, cause they're insignificant, man. Right. It says so that the fishes of the sea 
and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence. That, you know what? What are you reading there? Uh, Ezekiel 38. That lines up with Habakkuk when the Lord, when Habakkuk asked the Lord, were you mad at the rivers? Mm. Were you mad at the trees that you brought such a destruction on them? Yeah, because so that sorry. links up. Yeah, that links up with just, what you just read. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because it says, "Shall shake at my presence." Exactly. And then Haggai. Because because the presence of the Lord is going to be in those missions. Right. Haggai two and six. Yep. Says yep. the Lord said, "Once more, I rise to shake right. the earth." Yep. And, and Isaiah then Isaiah twenty-four. Yep. Isaiah twenty-four. And then Yahushua said, "Men's hearts failing them for fear for the things that are coming up." Because the, the earth shall rock, the must touch toward it. The earth shall reel to it. These things are going to actually happen, man. This, this is not just some. Yeah, well, that's, and that's why when we get beamed up, most of our women, we get beamed up on things and all that stuff. Yeah. We're going to see this and we're going to fear. Right. We're going to fear the most high and reverence the most high. That's in uh, Revelation 11 chapter. Remnant will give the remnant were afraid Friday, yeah. and gave praise to Yahweh. Now, Nate, if you were in that ship, and I, we said, oh, Yahweh, they get Christ. Jesus, in the name what? of Christ, we're going to say, look, uh, Mr. Andrews, pick up that hat, hat. So, he can, so he can kick this hair mic, this, this fucking hair mic, you might be a hair, the most I might just make you a hair, put your ass, <laughs> you better hope you're a hair, because they real, know I wouldn't feel, real. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to sleep if I'm saying, Jesus, 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 are you out your damn mind? Are you out your fucking mind? In slavery, the so-called white man made you call on Jesus, yeah, man. Right. And here your black ass is still calling on Jesus. Christ. You reverted back. The you first reverted ship. back. Yeah, the first He's the ultimate ship. Uncle Tom, man. Yeah. That's, yeah. as we said, when that movie came out, uh, 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 Django. Django. Yeah. We said that that's uh, this guy, Steven. 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 That's yeah. Steven. Yeah. Yeah. That's got, Steven coming back in the reincarnation. They should've got Nate to play. <laughs> Or the, <laughs> the scriptures say uh, that the Lord. Who's that? Who's that up on that? Who, who's yeah. that nigga doing up on that? Man. Yeah, uh, like like the scriptures say, uh, the earth shall wax old like a garment. Yeah. You know. It yeah. says. It says uh, the earth. Uh, and, that, and that's the beautiful thing about those missiles. It's going to rejuvenate the earth. Right. Earth is a cleaning engine. It's, it's a cleaning engine. Yeah. And, and fire. Absolutely. Cleaning agent, man. Huh. And we've what been saying that. Go? Fire. Fire. Still, fire. I gotta say this, Great Millstone, we're the only group that's been saying that about the missiles. Matter of fact, the mother is like, you guys don't even talk about the missiles. They don't talk about the missiles at all. You don't talk about the missiles, you don't talk about World War III. They talk a lot of shit. You know, they that's don't, a lot of fluff it, and They don't put it all together, man. You pretty much this video today, this video today, pretty much anybody that watches for the first, oh! There was a sister that watched one of my videos, which is a re-upload from uh, 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 Bazaar about the uh, people of Yoruba and Israelites. So this sister came on. I didn't know that. Oh, I'm going to do some research, you know? Yeah, look at that. Well, that's another thing with ISUPK. Yeah. If you say you're from Ghana, oh, you're a Hamite. You're a Hamite. I'm from Yoruba. You're a Hamite. No, nah, man, you got to raise up. You got to you gotta raise up your game, man. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. people from West Africa are Jake. Yep. 2021. It's 2021, goddammit. This ain't the 90s. This ain't, this ain't the 70s. This ain't the 70s. Barack, Barack, you know, Elder Barack. Come on, man. You know, Barack, Barack teaches that. Uh, no, I'm just saying, I'm yeah. calling him. Yeah. 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 Elder Barack with the Romans 11 is the other nation. Come on, man. This ain't Honestly, the glory days with Springsteen. Honestly. I mean, how can you read Romans the 11th chapter and say that's the other nations? When, first of all, the Apostle Paul, when he brought the gospel, he didn't bring it to the other nations. He was only sent to the nation of Israel. Hey, but, look, Caesar Boucher is done. Jesus is done. Yeah. Right about now, he's doing Hyundai commercial. Yeah. You know, I put it nah, in there. Yeah, I haven't huh? seen well, it. Well, I put yeah. it in there. Oh, yeah? That, put I, the I, yeah, yeah, he said okay. Hyundai. I love Hyundai. Oh, that's the last video you just did? No, no, the one no. that you did last week. Video. Oh. Sorry. The, 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 last, the video that we did live last week. Oh, okay, Saturday, I got it. I yeah. put it in there. Put the link. Yeah, put the link. Okay, I got to check it out. I mean, come on, man. Romans the 11th chapter. If you got Caesar Bozier, man, you got Caesar Jesus, Jesus Christ uh, riding around in the damn Hyundai. 
Yeah, that means he's going down soon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, goddamn, at least he can get us a hind gut. That's a goddamn hind day. Yeah, the Honda day, that's the cheap knockoff of the Honda. I mean, they're good now because they were forced to. Because the F Koreans had game. it, right. well, the Koreans the had it, it was crap. Right. Then the Japanese took it over and made uh, it, you okay. know. That explains it. That's why, I don't know if they still do it, but the guarantee, the warranty is 10 years. Mm. I think it's 10 years, I think it's 100,000 miles in 10 years. That's one of the best, because they had to, because they had it's a bad name. Yeah, you know? Yep. Same thing with the Kia. Yeah, yeah that's a disposable car. That's like you said, it's a disposable yeah, car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was going to bring on Revelation. Okay. Get down. Good. Yeah, quick, please stop. This is a Revelation 16. Okay. What, what, Revelation 16 and what? 16 and 9. I'll read this for Elder Sakuran. Revelation chapter 16, verse 9. Close it up, kids. Uh, Revelation 16. Yep. Revelation 16 and 9. Bunch of brothers down just... and, and men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of the Most High, which hath power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. That's them bankers. <coughs> bankers, they're not. From where? Revelation, Revelation 16 and 9. Yeah, them now, now, when you read a couple of verses above that, it's talking about that sword that they're going to get from of them that received them. It's in the second verse and down next to the end of the book. Because hmm. they're going to start getting those swords. The ones that do take the Maxine or the chip, they're going to start getting swords, cancers, and they're going to curse the most high for them, you know? Yep. Exactly. So that's how we know who got who got the mark or not. Yeah. Anyway, with that, shalom. 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 Shal